Good morning, everyone. I hope you are good this morning. Okay lang ka modera. Again, good morning, everyone. Gimara State University is always committed to provide excellent education for its clients, especially our students. And this is the reason why today we are providing opportunity for you to enjoy this first ever hybrid international training on boundary spanning with the theme working across boundaries, ethics, governance, and educational innovation. Today, we are attended by our university president, Dr. Lilian Diana B. Parenio, our vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Ruby D. Catalan, our dean for the graduate school, Dr. Early M. Mertier, together with the program heads, faculty, and staff of the graduate school, and our students who are viewing online and are attending face-to-face -face this morning. So this is why we are very glad that you are in because this would be a first uh, ever opportunity for you to enjoy this hybrid training internationally. I hope you will be enjoying and you will be learning along the way with our speakers who are coming from the international arena and from the local venues. So without much ado this morning, we would like to invite everyone to stand for the prayer and the singing of the national anthem through multimedia. Lord of wisdom, source of intelligence, we welcome you to this auspicious gathering, an august moment for the pursuit of knowledge that is offered for the glory of your name. We do not wish to ask you more than just you joining us today, but we look forward to your heavenly grace, to amplify the desire for truth, to look up for and become prudent to learning. Keep us grounded in your love and mercy, as we traverse a challenging path, to keeping the inclination of understanding, you and your most awe-inspiring creation. Be with us, O Lord, and descend your spirit on us, to maintain an earnest desire, the knowledge, truth, and understanding you, the guide of the wise, the stronghold of the learned. This we ask through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Today, we also would like to recognize the presence of our retired but never getting tired college president, Dr. Rogelio T. Artaho. Thank you, sir, for attending this program. He is also one of the faculty members of the graduate school. Moving on, let us have the opening remarks to be given to us by our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Ruby D. Catalan. Thank you, Ma'am Jess. To our University President, Dr. Lilian Diana B. Perennio, Ma'am, 
Sir Artaho, to our resource person, Dr. Early, and to everybody, a pleasant morning. I would like to open this uh, activity this morning with an invitation to everybody to be attentive and listen very well in the lectures that our invited speakers will be giving later on. And if uh, necessary, take down notes and interact by asking questions after. I hope that this uh, activity with the theme Working Across Boundaries, Ethics, Governance, and Educational Innovation be useful in our work as educators, uh, public administrators, and business managers in our respective organizations. So once again, uh, good morning and have a pleasant day. Thank you very much, Ma'am Catalan. Let us now have the welcome address to be delivered by our university president, Dr. Lilian Diana B. Paranio. To our former college president, Dr. Rogelio Tartajo, to our vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Rubi Catalan, to our dean of the graduate school, Dr. Early Martir, to all our faculty members of the graduate school, to all our honored and dear st students, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And of course, to our guest speaker resource person today, sir. Okay, good morning. Uh, this is one of the exercises as a, as a university or a graduate student should have. Uh, we are required to attend seminars and conferences like this to further hone and improve your knowledge. You know, uh, classroom activities in the graduate program is not the only way wherein graduate students should learn. And the theme today is very up or very appropriate for all of you because Today, in this modern days, in this very rapid changing technological uh, days that we have, boundaries or our, our environment, we don't have boundaries anymore. We cross countries, we cross culture, we cross communities by just being in one place or just being in your classroom or in your home. So, we are now adapting to what we call the new normal. The new normal brought about by pandemic, the new normal brought about by the modern technologies. So as a graduate student, I know many of you are holding positions, which is very vital in our governance. But being a student of Guimara State University, I know you will be learning from one another. I kept on saying that the learnings in the classroom is just your guide. And most of the time, the interaction among you, the sharing of experiences among your classmates is a great source of information for you to learn further. So I encourage all of you to be participative in your classroom discussion, in all the undertakings being done inside the classroom. And today, this event is very um, important to further improve our way of learning. So we have uh, speakers who will guide you through uh, the whole event today. So in the half of the graduate school faculty and staff as well as the whole um, members of the Guimara State University community, I warmly welcome you all to this activity today. Good morning again, everyone. Thank you very much, Dr. Parenio, for that very warm welcome today. To move on, I know you are very excited now to hear inputs from our speakers. So this morning, 
I would like to give you our virtual MC to introduce our first speaker, Sir Jim. So once the friends, good morning. So you would like first to introduce to you guys our first speaker for today. He graduated with a degree of Bachelor of Secondary Education in Social Studies Cum Laude from the West Versailles State University back in 2001. Finished his master's degree of Education, Administration and Supervision from the College of Education still from the West Versailles State University. And finished his doctor's degree PhD in Education Curriculum Development with Highest Distinction from the College of Education at the West Versailles State University. Our speaker handles undergraduate and graduate classes at COE West Versailles State University. His research interests include qualitative research and local cultural heritage studies. As a teacher, he considers that teaching social studies is a cultural mission and a philanthropic vocation. And as a cultural worker, he considers understanding culture as a way of establishing lifelong friendship by serving the least, the last, and probably the lost in society. So friends, it's time to introduce to you our first speaker who's going to talk about education leaders during pandemic. Beacons of tomorrow's success. Please give him a big round of applause, Dr. John Erwin P. Pedrasso, faculty, West Versailles State University. Good morning to everyone. Um, the very first request that I have for today is to provide me with a piece of paper that I could draft the microphone with this bond paper or else I'll be shaking all the while from time to time because it's grounding. And, and the first thing, and the second thing is um, when I was on my way coming over to GSU, the big building with the Gimara State University have welcomed me because sometime last year in January, uh, I attended the final defense of my best friend sitting as a panel member, <laughs> an outside expert that I do not know what qualified me to be an outside expert. But through invitation, then there it goes. And uh, there is really a big change that I have observed with Gimara State U of calling it a state university is specifically onto its graduate program that you are organizing things like this, that is transnational and cross-cultural in nature. And that is a big congratulations. However, when Tito Rome texted me that I need to take a motorbike coming over to GSU, I found a very good excitement. Ever. I was never afraid of riding a motorbike, but I was so afraid of wearing a helmet. It really ruined my hairstyle. One side of my perfume have softened that there is somewhat like a hair entanglement. 
But anyway, welcome everyone <laughs> to your big activity. And I am coming over as a friend. It is because unto my pure intention, I made it as a part of my plan of not wearing my barong and then my black slacks and my black shoes and so on and so forth. Because I don't want to be identified as the speaker, but all the while when I was approaching the building, uh, one of the friends have introduced me that he will be the one to introduce me rather and then presenting me this lay that I really made the very good decision of wearing a white shirt because the first plan that I had was to wear a sky blue shirt, but, but it's still a, a t-shirt, okay? So I am coming over here today as a friend whom I would like to, in which I would like to share my experiences for the past two years of the pandemic and how I ran and kept my sanity intact and until today, I'm still keeping that mantra that is the basic reason why I kept on back, going back and fro and then taking the boat ride, taking the bus ride, and taking the plane in order for me to go different parts of the country because of that invitation to speak as an instructional leader and at the same time who is into research and cultural work. So the title of my talk this morning is Educational Leaders During the Pandemic and We Are Serving as Beacons of Success for Tomorrow. And the tomorrow won't be today. Tomorrow would be tomorrow, the day, the day after the next, the week, after the next and so on and so forth, correct? However, what we have planted today will be the ones that we shall harvest tomorrow. And we need to make an investment that we could be a part of the many expectations of what tomorrow might bring or what tomorrow might challenge us. It is just normal to experience difficulties, however, the best thing for us to think about is on how we are going to surmount these difficulties and how are we going to, feed, to defeat the main challenges. Actually, these things are very handy and these things are just the many things that we have been doing for the past two years and a half. However, we just simply failed to have them codified and appreciate it in the context of our professional work. So good morning, I am Dr. John Erwin Pedrosa and I'm from West Visay State University. And uh, I am working as the college secretary for the past five months of the College of Education Graduate School. And I've been running the Education Student Council and the Social Science Student Society for the past nine years upon my entry to the university. And we made quite a lot for the activities that we had. And uh, these have put a toll onto myself. It's because that I was able to realize that I could stretch myself further, despite the fact that the main challenge that I have to face is between the graduate school and between the student activities that we have, aside from the instructions that they need to make as a social studies teacher and as a professional education teacher, both in the undergrad, in the master's, in the PhD, okay? I hope um, the sharing that I will be giving and sharing to everyone will be somewhat like a beacon of realization that we would appreciate tomorrow because we are the ones who get to have these different responsibilities on our shoulder. Sir, how do I navigate with my presentation? Do I click? Yes, thank you very much. These are the faces of Dr. Pedroso. 
from the future of a of the ambassador of the United Nations to becoming a traveler, to becoming the Ivy Aguas of the wildflower, to becoming the Catriona Gray and the Amazona of Nora Honor and so on and so forth, going to these different characters, to the different areas of concerns that at times we need to sacrifice our Saturday for the call of service. Though we are stretching ourselves too much, and we are spreading the butter too thinly, yet at the end of the day, we are still very much convinced of the sufficient amount of service that we extended that made everyone happy and made ourselves to be happy as well. Beyond the financial um, aspect that we as well invest to keep our activities successful, that is just a pro bono thing when we are running the affairs of our different departments. See you, sir. Two years and a half have been a big challenge for all of us, correct? You need to play the role of a mother. Am I seeing Ivy Jomon, Jesus Christ, superstar, my very own classmate? Well, anyway, the pandemic has been putting a big toll on us for the past two years, correct? We have been juggling our responsibilities as parents, as mothers, as fathers, as girlfriends, as boyfriends, as friends, a teacher, a guidance counselor, a dancer, a ballerina, and so on and so forth. You name it, we'll all have it, correct? And on the onset of the pandemic, we're all quite on that status in which we are trying to make both ends meet, correct? We're all afraid of what will happen for tomorrow. It's because that we don't know what would the uncharted kingdom of the pandemic would look like in the next two years. But we, here we are today, very successful, that in the past two years, we have a lot, we have orchestrated a lot of mechanisms for our survival. And these are the different tidbits of hope. And these are the different vignettes or stories that we need to share. And I would as well like to share on how I survived the pandemic. We are always put in a box of understanding that educational leaders are always within the realms, the myths, and the bounds of our offices. Very traditional way of thinking. But the pandemic put a big challenge on us that educational leaders, managers, instructional leaders as well, to make it more generic, we are not just found within the four walls of our classrooms or our office. We turn our houses, our own bedrooms to be our own office of leading our schools, our university, our departments, our very own divisions in order to make this pandemic to be a worthwhile challenge for all of us. You may not be agreeing with me that it has been a worthwhile vacation for all of us. On the other hand, that being worthwhile of the pandemic is as well a big crucifixion for all of us because people from the depth ed need to face a lot of challenges of producing modules, need to do home visitations, people from CHED like us in the state universities would need to meet accreditations done by the AACUP. And uh, all the while we're thinking that accreditation would be suspended, yet they found the novelty of having the accreditation done on an online modality. And all these things have been done on an online basis. So we all became... Uh, online educational leaders, online instructional leaders, and so on and so forth. But the pandemic have brought us to our knees and at the same time 
made our wings grow wide. As it grew wide, here we are. We are starting to go back to our own workspaces and have learned a lot that despite that there would be another pandemic in the next 200 years, all the succeeding generations will handle it efficiently. Okay? Today, there are still other variations and variety and design and so on and so forth of how we are going to call the COVID-19 pandemic. Correct? What are the different variations? Huh? Hindi ka mukha dumdum, no? It's because sa kadamo, hindi ito na madumduman. Coming to Iloilo, coming back to Iloilo, you will be intercepted in the airport to look into your vaccination card on where you will be going to aside from the tickets that you are needed to, pre to present. Yet, other, other airports in different parts of the Philippines are so lenient today. Likewise, um, airports in Swarnapum Airport in Thailand or even going to the to European countries through Schengen, they're all very lenient because we are now starting to consider the pandemic to be a part of the world history. Yet, we are just on our way to usher ourselves back to the normal. And we are all invited not to overdo it. That's why the things that we're practicing right now is somewhat like a hybrid. Correct? And through, high through, high through hybridity, we can little by little push ourselves towards the practice of what we were once so comfortable with. In the next semester, in the next school year, in the next uh, two years or so, we are all back to good normal. Okay? But the context of that is we are all fostering the value of hope that we get to go together as a team, as a community, as a university, and all the while, we as Filipinos, we as Ilongos, are very much prepared to face tomorrow. Thank you, sir. The first mantra which I have been doing is the so-called been here, been there. Please repeat after me, been here, been there. Educational leaders are always available, correct? We need to be visible in school, in person, and even virtually. Striking a very beautiful friendship with Dr. Romy Muralista have all started in last year's big event of Gimara State University in July because I was first invited to be a commentator in your international research colloquium. It ran for the next two days and a half. And with that feature, I was able to realize that all these things could be made possible in a virtual setting, but because of the invitation that I need to get my stipend, I need to proceed to Zulu Hotel, correct, sir? Zulu Hotel in Mandur, I Zuri Hotel. <laughs> So Zuri Hotel. And then late in the afternoon, while I was trying to fix myself not to go to Zuri Hotel, but rather to put on my rubber shoes and jogging shorts, definitely it has to be a skimpy shorts to show the world the heritage of that having beautiful legs. And wearing my traditional Philippine Folk Dance Society white shirt, shirt for my afternoon walk aside from my morning walk. And then I received a message from Tito Rome in telling me, Kaduna di sa Zuri Hotel, kay maniapun kita, and then you get your gift. So it is not just mere virtual, but it is well a meeting of in-person modality. And aside from that, I was able to make myself available in a school, a school not in a physical structure, but a school in a virtual setting. Aside from that, several conferences, several um, seminars, workshops that I have been constantly invited. And 
it came to a point that I was able to realize that indeed I was running like Bugs Bunny or Roadrunner from one workshop to another workshop to another conference to another training, though it may only be in a virtual setting, but I have been there. I have been here. Why do we have to do this? We also need to provide ourselves with a mechanism on monitoring learning throughout crisis and beyond. It becomes like a social responsibility that if you are very well in love with research, every time you hear conferences, if you, every time you hear colloquium, your heart thumps so fast. Why? It allows us to refine or help refine programs and at the same time to better communicate and engage with other people towards owning our own interests and what motivates us as instructional leaders in order to make these programs delivered on a very contextual manner. How do I go about it? One of the many challenges that we had in the onset of the lockdown is for us to shift our instruction from a face-to-face to something online. And we were all groping in the dark on what we're going to use that we even attempted to make use of our own Facebook accounts, correct? And then we shifted to group chats, correct? And then our universities have ventured as well to provide ourselves with Google Classrooms. And then our own university have as well shifted from Google Classroom to use the so-called Brightspace today. Though it might not be too friendly at the onset on the use of the bright space, but there is a movement on the context of innovation and the development of technology is very much acknowledged. So from the Google Classroom that I was using, we shifted to the bright space, but definitely the university have to pay a lot for this. At the same time, it is also a challenge for the first timers to use the bright space and other learning um, systems that the university would provide us. But on the onset, I was as well very much challenged. But the transfer or the paradigm shift in the use of Google Classroom to the use of bright space have as well provided me with an acquisition of another scale in the use of new learning modality system. Aside from that, these different training, seminars, workshop, colloquium, and so on and so forth have put me on a limelight that I have to produce sometimes a two-week preparation and a multimedia presentation that they have to orchestrate for the next three hours that my, my talk would run that I would always make an appeal to Tito Rome, Tito Rome, please give me the whole afternoon or else I would be making a very haphazard product. It's because that I need more time for the presentation. So, I reklamo siya, permiss ako, halagay ka kapadugay, dira, nga wala pa kita kapanyaga, wala pa kita kapanyapon. Kay, nagkakadaranan ako sa akon nga preparasyon and ang presentation would always be onto this virtual setup and at the same time, I would also I, I would also make it sure that there is something like novelty and every time and everything that I have prepared for. One thing that Tito Rom told me for today, hindi ka na maghatag sang turo talk show, palihog. Kay karun ubuson mugid ang adlaw namon. Well, definitely, it's a straight talk, but definitely later on we'll have an open forum that we could as well share thoughts to each other. And we are, I, I have also been into different conferences and then joining Asian conferences and then meeting people from Bangladesh, from Pakistan, from Malaysia, Indonesia. I even went as far as Turkey and Hungary that I brought my students with me in an international virtual conference. And then we have stayed as much as 11 o'clock in the evening. And then the Bangladeshi was talking in the Bangladeshi 
language and the other one was talking in Turkish and so on and so forth. And they were trying to send me in the chat box, sir, we cannot understand. And I told my student, pareho man lang ta. Tapusun ta na lang. Kay ara na kita sa international virtual platform. Thank you, sir. Challenge. In the rate of one to five, how available were you for public service during the period of the lockdown or the pandemic? Ma'am, one to five. <laughs> Three. Ma'am, one to five. 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 Manang Joseph, five. Sige, ah. We cannot discredit people who made themselves available for only two, for two, for the rating of two. Correct? They also have their own priorities. Those who were able to make it as far as five or as high as five, it means that they also made priorities. However, all these priorities were all jam-packed in a condition wherein they, we made ourselves available in one way or another that we all have made a very good success rate of five. No problem. If you said that you were only one, well, you could have been a very productive and a beautiful mother or a father. And that is a five for you or it may be a one for the professional track, like that. But there are as well contexts that we need to look into that at times, the more that we spread our butter very, very thin, the more that we become ineffective, correct? So making priorities onto the time of the pandemic was a big challenge for all of us. But we made it to succeed and be here today, it's because we all together have taken care of our mental health. Correct? Hi. So, tempo sang pandemic, I am sending text message to my best friend, Amabel Tanko Shason. Mabel, Mabel, buligay ko, anay. Kaya hindi ko kabalo kung paano ko i-manage ang ako ng disease energy. People will be taking me into consideration, believing that I am a PEM major because I am like springy individual. But I am a social studies major, but the love that I have is the Philippine folk dance and so on and so forth because I'm making a lot of money out of that. Choreograph ba lang May to 30 mil, 20 mil, 50 mil. Kinapatos nila. And then, she was telling me during the pandemic, panumdum ka sa isa ka bagay nga wala mo ginaubra kag ubra ha. Diyos ko, anong ginabagay nga wala ko ginaubra? Alangan man ko magsyabu o kung mag mag-inom. Kahit daw lockdown man na ito, wala sa mga epekto sa mutong at simpo. Sige, 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 dai. Tingnan ti ano ang ginaplano mo. Sige, sige, dai, liwatun ko naman lantaw ang telenovela nga Lovers in Paris ginlan tao ko na naman sa mapati ka mo kag sa hindi natapos ko tatlo ka adlaw do mabulag ako ang isa ko naman ka best friend Michael told me dai 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 lan tao ka bala sang ano na sang ang Ian C Palace three CDs i finished it in one week and the other one is Jewel in the Palace ang lihi do mabulag ako sa kula inunta naman lain na naman bala so I have been shifting to that from one point to another to keep myself entertained that made me survive. And we are all making priorities that later on I was able to realize that I have that big challenge to go back onto my academic instructions that I made use of the Facebook to have my students post their assignments on Facebook. Daw mga buang lang kami. Patapos ko mang check kung ginabutangan ko heart Kung hindi, thumbs up. Kung thumbs up, tip my score na nga kung pila. Kung heart gani, perfect ina. No? So, we have been so creative in all our different efforts. Whether it is five points, two points, three points, five points, your availability, availability was a brilliant gift to the community. Okay? Ang isa lang yun nga, wala ko na yung mga mga itat, nubiyo sa mga tong chimpong. 
Sige, sir, continue. We did or we executed 42 steps. What do I mean by 42 steps? We focus on our well-being. We also made time to exercise, to rejuvenate, to keep our minds intact, to keep our figure well, and even find time to have a leisurely walk in the afternoon or time to relax, time to dance, time to listen to the music. I am into the folk dance. Gin-review ko na naman ang 12 ko kasi di isang folk dance. Liwat-liwat, 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 liwat-liwat. Pero wala gi ko nag-attempt magsaot. Kaya nga, ah, mamalhas lang ako, hindi ko man mapuslan, inada yun. No? So pamati, pamati lang ko ano isang music, etc., etc. Just to keep myself busy at the time. Hindi ka man pwede kalagaw sa SM City or sa Gaisano City or sa Robinson and so on and so forth. So what I did was to turn on to my friends and then talk to them. At times, we would keep ourselves so busy and I was just like a pick-up girl. Girl, gita ko yan ha? A pick-up girl that they would say, din ka subong, ari ko sa balay. Gaano ka? Diga pang check Google Classroom? Sige na. Ilis na da, kay makadto kita sa amusin ni. Abi mo kung ano ginang katuana mo. Sa festive mall, ting amun balay, dira man lang sa airport, old airport. Ang festive mall, dira man sa old airport. Five minute walk ara na kami sa amusin na nga sitwasyon. And then, it was also the time when the Brandy Museum had as well, had its soft opening. Tiki dira man lang ako sa area sa festive mall nang tawang ako na attire. No? And then very near the Hardin because it's just also walking distance ang ginakalingawan namo ni Dr. Amabel Sason magpuro pictorial kami nga duwa kanong mga buang-buang. Ti do nag ayo man ang amon panimuot. If not, I would gather students that I have who are very near to my own place and then we like plan out on what we are going to cook for the day and then talk something about on how we're going to plan for our major subjects and so on and so forth. Tito mga manduriyaw man lang sila. No? Ang iba mga taga piyak, piyak zone. Zone 1 kami, zone 2 sila, lakat-lakat lang sila. And then, mga higinagaday kami, anong atong lutuon? Subong tibongga pa na ginaluto namun. Laksa, hadtay, and so on and so forth. Samtanggal luto ako sang laksa, kag sang padtay, may lecture pa na about Asian cuisine. So, these were the activities that kept me intact because these were the different 42 steps that I took during the pandemic. Sige, sir. This was the pad tai that i tried advertising kun kis ang aton ginao brag na picture an tang mapagkaon naton correct i post naton sa aton facebook account little that i knew that my friends were trying to entertain the idea of telling or ordering from me and then they told me pila ini siya ay anong pila man gali kay abi nila ginabaligya ko sige 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 ma try kita magburo baligya so that pad thai costs 700 pesos because daw kalalaw ni Maria Clara gid ka dako kay hatag ako no sa birthday sang iya nga tatay kay birthday sa munang adlaw so Dr. Eric Valenzuela have ordered two orders of pad thai and then the other one is Singaporean satay in other words barbecue the other one there on top are the so-called laksa. And the black one there is the rice cake of Koreans. And then the other one there is the icebox cake. Well, I enjoyed doing that for a month and a half. And then it grew. At one day, I, I entertained as much as 21 orders. Sajahan ako galing animal. Kaya nga, ang kapoy ko perti, ang akong ginansya sing pinta. <laughs> Nag-doktor takon para maglugay yung kaldero. Hindi takon. Kapoy. Isa ka bulan kag tunga nga napas mo akong kamot nga daw nag-iinit. Ngayon hindi ko ang sindi. Ayun, tatun ko niya. 
sa ulihin, sinigin na nila, sa noo ka na naman maluto, sinigin ko sila, wala! At sa subong may naghahambal, sinigin na nga, mahimot, mga hindi, takot. Dudla, takot ko, ubra nga to. After all, why naman pandemic? No? Amat-amat na. So, these are the things, one or two or four or five or the six many things of the 42 steps that I did. Or else, I would not have discovered that I have a good taste buds. Good, good lang na. Puno abim lang na. Subjective. But all the while, I was trying to reconcile those experiences that I have, trying the Malaysian laksa in Kuala Lumpur and put it onto my own practice that it really had made a very good patok onto my customers. Pero mga customers, kung na mga friends ko man, so na nahuya man sa mag maghambal, siguro nga, dahil ano man man, sobrang may kakahang man. No? Kaya kung may mag-amusin ng balong ko, dugagi lang tubig. <laughs> okay, sir. Thank you. What was your most loved activity during the pandemic? Sir? I love K-pop, so usually watch movies. Watching the K-pop movies. Gardening, plantitas, plantitos. Ang puro plantita, plantito, nga ina. Nalipay, gid ako sang mayana, ang lapunaya. Kay kakiyot sa iya kung gamay pa. Pero kung mag ano gani, kung magdako na siya, do bagat ang tsura niya. So, ang ako nga garden, do amumula nakadako, may alley walk, no? Pagkatapos nagdalalako ang mga lapunayang, do wala akong mga agyan, kay ka mga tag-as, nasa niya na pang sikatan, kung ako nga pagkatarautod. May, I also tried grew, a growing prayer plant. Ang violet, iya nga dalong, isang daon, so yung green, Kung aga nag-booklad siya, correct? Kung gabi nag-ikipot siya? Siguro nag-ikipot siya, kapangamuyo siya, hindi ko siya pagharbason. Kaya nga, ah, ginapanggutok yan. Ang ako na alagyan. So, at first, I loved it. Later on, I hated it. Sang ginpanggunting ko, ah, na naluoy na naman ko. Pero galing perti ka, uslitan, klase niya, kwan. nga tanong, kaisa lang kabulan, ara na naman, dagko na naman siya. No? Very prayerful. Nadalaya din sa pangamuyo. What else, ma'am? May isa pala ko kaisa dyan. Ito Filipino major. Yeah. Household chores. Correct. Household chores. Kapila mo din tinuloan inyong CR. Katatlo and so on and so forth. Ang picture frame, ginsato, pagkadwiduay, say, lumun man ka naman. No? I have also been in the same boat actually. But we are we we failed to appreciate it time. Right now, we're trying to tell ourselves that that Time was really a good time because we have a lot of, or have been into Zumba. Zumba yung virtual. Wala. Do mga buangit lang, no? Butangan na nila. Zumba para malahas nila. Pero virtual. Correct? So, it was then a good 42 steps that we executed. Okay? Um, sa chimpo, sa pandemic, Dito lang dito yung nakasulod sa, sa super market.
mga mata nyo, damo. I really do not believe in research myself before the pandemic. There were a lot of invitations of telling me, publish, kabala sir, sa mga amusin ni, sa amusin na, sa amusin na. Una, huwag ko ginang rural research ni ina, nga ang St. Paul, nagpanawag sa akong choreograph ang sao, 30,000 tong bayad. Una, kung tuloy ang research ngayon na sa journal ngayon na, nga ang CPU mabayad sa akong 40 mil para sa folk dance, ay hindi kuya. Research, nang ka mo na publish ka mo. Bawa at nakaroon, pandemic, wala na gid sa may mahimo. Kuti-kuti ako sa research and so on and so forth. Kay tungod, when I joined the research conference in 2019 and won the first place in Baguio, after a year and a half, An email was sent to me from the University of Malaysia in Johor. And then they invited me to have my paper published to them. And then I run after the schedule and then sent my manuscript. And after three months, it was published. Bawa pagkakita ko na published, so nagtakam-takam ako eh. Bawa ano man, himuunta man, sige-sige. I went into my Google Classroom and looked into the different materials that I have. Nakita ko dito ang mga students' reflection. Ay himuan, tabla ni research. Kay about ini sa ilang ang mga webinars nga kin-conduct, kagin atinan. So nahimu ko siya, present and so on and so forth. My very good friend, Dr. Ryan Michael Ducado, our URDZ director, um, have published a lot of Um, researches in a Scopus index. And then he tried to convince me that I am going to publish another one and so on and so forth. So I played onto my own manuscript and then sent it to the journal. Because in the Facebook, there is an advertisement that there is free publication for a growing journal from Great Britain. At the time, it was pandemic, correct? When we published, there were also payments. Scopus Index, they'll say 40,000, 50,000, 30,000, and so on and so forth. At the time, it was free publication because it's a maiden issue. So I sent my manuscript, and after a month and a half of waiting, I received my manuscript again for the different corrections, and I sent it. After two months and a half, it was published. Wow. Doon na bagting naman dulunggan ko. Siling ko, sige, mahimo. Pagin kita, Ryan, Ryan, mahimo kita sang research. And then we wrote researches. Several researches were made possible and then sent to the different journals. Two months, three months of wait. The longest was four months. It's a Scopus Index. And then we made it in December of 2021. Why was so fast of having these publications two months, three months, and so on? Because I sent message to the editor or to the publisher in telling me I want to experience my professional and personal growth in the area of research. However, I fall short on money right now because I do not have part-time jobs because it's pandemic. I don't have money. The editor would send back a message and tell me, just send your manuscript and then we'll look into, we'll publish it. Bao nami angid ako. Sang ulihi, wala na daw, nagabalik na sa normal. At takay sa March 11, nasunugan kami sa Barangay Airport. So ang ginagamit ko ng pandemic and I am a fire victim. Six researches were published for free. Kung kisaan mo malang, buang-buang malang ako na. No? But it made a lot of sense. That's why my visibility in the research gate, when you look into the research gate, I have my track record there in research as well as in the Google uh, Scholar. And that made a lot of progress because we are starting to come up with our different linkages and meet different researchers from different parts of the Philippines and different parts of Asia and as well as in Europe. Pero ang mga Amerikano, daw wala pag may na meet so far. Usually Europeans and then Asians. So this research thing, is somewhat like a barrier for all of us, correct? But the moment that we have tried writing one and successfully publish it, keep your fingers crossed because you'll get addicted to it. But, tandaan, ang atong kontra 
tempo lamang. Correct? Okay. The other one is for us to determine the baseline of information during the pandemic. Why? We need to look into our own practice. That is why during the time of pandemic, sitting down is as well opportunity to regrow. Going back to my own practice, I went into the production of different learning materials because it was the era of module production. Correct? So, pagpung ko, kutikuti, himo imo module, outline, outline, gita ngita sang materials, and so on and so forth. And there it goes for the past years of two years. This has been the things that I have already produced on my track on writing different modules. The set down here of 10 units is on my landscapes and places in the changing world. And the one on top is on my um, anthropology class of four units all in all. So far, for the past two years of the pandemic, I was able to produce nine modules all in all. Um, these are work texts. And the thickest of them all is the landscapes and places of 1,000 pages. So today, in my own practice, because it's still hybrid, two weeks we meet our students face-to-face, -face, two weeks that they go online. I do not meet them online because it's going to be their independent learning schedule. I just upload in the Brightspace my modules. They download, they study, and then they submit what are needed to be submitted. And onto the time that we meet as a group on a face-to-face -face setup, what we will do is just to synthesize the lessons that they learned when it was on their independent learning schedules. Okay? Was it difficult? Yes, it was difficult. But remember, we cannot make this on an overnight basis. But we could produce some on an overnight basis if it's just going to be activity pop sheets. And then later on, we develop it little by little. Thank you, sir. What did you do to inspire others during the pandemic? What did you do? Ma'am? Sharing each other's concerns, correct? Mamangkot ka ng dahi ka, ano ka, ka, ano ka dira? And then, istoryahan niya. Ikaw as na natapos ang istoryahan niyo after an hour. So, it's like helping each other emotionally and keep each other a company on a virtual setup. Sharing plans, correct? Correct. Giving goods, correct? Dito sa Amon, sa Barangay Airport, pati ito, ginapangayuan sa ayuda. Tuod. Huwag ko lang lang. Balaan mo naman yung one of a kind ng barangay ni ina. Pati ito, si Ling sang DSWD, isulat ang mga pangalan sang tagbalay nga ari sa Amon nga balay. Butang niya ngalan niya, butang niya ngalan sa iyang nobyo, butang ito sa dalom, Jana May. Tatlo ka food pack ginhatag ang ikatatlo para sa ido. Kaya ang rason nila, nga ah, sa pandemic, ang ido wala gakaon. Sinabat sila sa DSWD, nga ah, ang ido malat ng COVID. Oh, hindi ma-justify. Balik ang food pack. Correct? Ang barangay namun, naghambal siya nga ng kwa ng ano ni ng Ang ang rasyon sang barangay utan ginalibot tama ginalibot sang una do nagairi nagaway sang ulihi wa ay na may nagadaho sang pinutos kay ang barangay nagareklamo na sa kagapon munggo subong munggo man gyapon buwas munggo man na bao kita mo lang mga tao no but this was then a time when I was able to realize that I wasn't able to visit a part of our barangay for the past 20 years. Nakakadugin na ako dito sa may mga puno, sang talisay, dito sa may mga palahubog, kamag chika-chika, say lang, ay ma'am, arika! Because the barangay calls me ma'am. 
Why kung sa why aba ilan da? That is their term of endearment. Kay karon kung koreksyonan ko na aslam balong ko nila. Baw grabe ka, do si ambog kagid. Kay man may tinapusan kay hindi kagid pwede taw gun ma'am. Okay na lang na ah, ma'am, okay man. Lugi na kilig man ako. No? So, dito nakalabot ako sina dito that kept myself so busy at times to make friends again with the people whom you were not able to meet because of the busy life for the past 10 years, 15 years and so on and so forth. And I was able to I was I was so shocked that it was all a big big change sa likod sang amon barangay nga amo na nagali ang itsura or sitwasyon niya subong. Okay? The other one is coming up with a commendable compassion. Model compassion, model understanding. Wherein we listen to each other's feelings. Likewise, we also listen to each other's chismis. Correct? Murumarites. Showing compassion and empathy strengthens our character as leaders. Hi, sir. Sige. Sa next slide, sir. Here. That I do not know if last Good Friday through sa balaan nga si Mana Santa in the Siete Palabras, you've heard ang ikalimang pulong kinauhaw ako. Ako to, ma'am? <laughs> I could not believe that I was invited myself. Kay abi kuya, ang sete palabra, ang dapat maghambal ang mga matarong lang. Ha? Kung gatalikod in, <laughs> kung gatubang sa prat man. No? However, because of our organization, Camareros de Luilo, that runs the different santos, ginaprosesyon, kaya ginahimo parpi, ang mga santos, a good friend of mine in college, through Father Angelo Colada, when he heard me delivering the message on the opening of our exhibit in Molo Church, two weeks after, I received a message daw mga two weeks after lang na nasunugan kami. And then, that was as well the time when I was bound in going to Manila. That was April then. Amuto ang time niya kung magbiyahe, katama, pagit ka istrikto. No? When I received the message that I'll talk in the siete palabras, I did not bat an eyelash. Especially when I heard and when I learned that my pulong or my word will be the fifth word ginauhaw ako sino hindi auhawon ko nasunugan ka tama santisima i trinidad that was then the time that they have requested me siling father ang isakon jan suksuka bala ang pula mo nga bayo to sang pag-opening, sang exhibit, sang aton museum. Kaya ito yung yakatryo ni Greg. Ito yung talaandig. Ay talaandig. Tiboli with all the brass bells. Tiya mo gitong ginarequest. Sin ko daw iskandalo niya, Father Angi. Kaya balaan mo. Biyan ni Santo, hala ta akong kapakiling-kiling. So, I told him, ti pwede ang Malaysian wedding dress na lang. Tiya mo na nga ang Malaysian wedding dress akong sukso. Kaya nga ah, I was talking on behalf of the LGBTQ community. Doon nagambal pa ko. Dali lang bila, Father Angi. Base ko na ipatawag ko sa presidente sa West na may immoralidad naman ako nga paghahimuon kay mawurwal dati naman ako representing the LGBTQ community. Ang teknik ko, ginmention ko sa sa ako nga binalaybay. Ti okay man ko noon. If you are very much interested to this, then I invite you to Google in the YouTube Siete Palabras 2022 Ikalimang Pulong, Dr. John Erwin Pedroso. That was a, that, that's a story of my life that I made an evolution from someone else so simple to someone else who had to make a very profound decision 
of saving an innocent life through my first cousin's pregnancy. Tika hindi man ko pwede kabusong, no? Kaya hindi man ako kapamana, ti sige, ang panumdong ko tani, may bata nga mag-aabot sa amon nga papangalanan namon sang Pedroso para hindi mapatay ang Pedroso nga linyada sa akon. That's why when that little boy came over in 2009, the big decision that I made for myself that, and I kept on repeating to my stories, no? nga buhi on siya, baklan gatas, pabayuan, and so on and so forth. And big, big achievement that I named him Pope. Subong, amuna ako mag-ugtas nga, animal ka, Pope! Ang Santo Papa, animal ka! Kaya nga lang, P-O-P-E, Pope Giuseppe. Uh, Giuseppe is an Italian for Joseph because it was then in 2007 when I was in Italy that I saw Pope Joseph Ratzinger, Pope Benedict. No? So yung pangalanan ko siya after two years nga, Pope Giuseppe. So the story revolves around that big decision that I have to make a decision of saving that life. Muna ang spirakad lang kung mapatay ako kung magtungtong sa may ganhaan sa langit, magkutong ako sa San Pedro, ano ginhimok mo na dapat nakapasudlon sa kwan sa, sa langit, San Pedro? Yes, sir. The other one is my mission as a cultural worker that despite the pandemic, nagapangkalit did ko yayasang mga lecture kung may ara imbitasyon. My dissertation was focused on a heritage house owned by the Javelianas and the Lopezes in Haro. You may mistakenly calling it the Lopez Mansion, but it is a Haveliana Mansion. It's called Casa Marikit. There are a lot of corrections that I made onto my own report on my findings of my dissertation. But there are vlo bloggers and vloggers right now that would as well be claiming that this it's 200 plus years old. But in our computation together with Sir Nereo Luhan, we made a computation that it is just 130 plus with all the arguments that I presented to be somehow hypothetically and theoretically viable in the area of research. So I conduct lectures in Casa Marikit there, and then we as well opened the so-called Museo de Santa Ana in Molo Parish just in time for the 500 year celebration of Christianity in Molo. So the right in the right, on the right is the museum that, would, that we put up and I am serving right now as the museum curator and continue my training with uh, University of the Philippines Baguio in Museo de Cordillera in Ched for the past two years. And basically it had brought to the attention of many people especially my students, my graduate school students, my undergrad students, that it became our very own like a laboratory for anthropology classes. That I bring them there and then teach them how to handle the, how do you call that? The artifacts, doing the archiving, doing the documentation, um, condition report, and so on and so forth. So that becomes like a big mission for me that time. Because this is something, it may not be a soft touch in a physical sense, but it may be a, an, an academic caress for those who are very much interested in this line of information. Okay? See you, sir. With this line, because we are talking about compassion, do you believe that, do you believe in the saying that you need to love until it hurts? No? To answer. Yes. Kay kung kis a, amo na lang na nabili natun nga kwarta sa atun bulsa ihatag tapa. Correct? Especially kung isudyantita. Correct? Mm. Kagabi, kinanglan kung giliplansya ang akon nga ATM card kaya mga nagaservisyo sa akon samtang wala ako diri sang last week 
because I stayed in Coronadal for the whole week and met our classmates there. Sila ang nag-run sa akin ng mga activities. So my promise is do the things on my behalf and then make sure that things are well done when I come back. So there it goes. When I came back, everything is in place. And then I told them when I when we come back, we, I, I'll bring you to Sanggyopsal. Pagkita na, munti, di na kita sa Sanggyopsal, 400 pesos per head. So the, hindi man sakit, kay tungod niya, plan siya lang imo ATM. Ah. Hindi mo na pagplan, tawon da yun. Pero do sakit din actually. No? Bawi, bawi. So I told them, Tito 400 na ang per head siguro tuhon gid naton nga ang isa ka pinggan imo isa ka pinggan imo te apat gid ka pinggan nga pork belly te ah, okay man buhi pa man ko sa pong because i religiously take my own amlodipen and then silly marine and metformin and so on and so forth mm-hmm. love until it hurts <laughs> sin ona sa inyo ang may mga Maintenance medicine. Bo si IB gid. Winner gid si IB. Smiga IB. No? Pero, damo ako maintenance. Galing lang, hindi ako yung maputo sa maintenance. Kaya nga, ang ginabakal ko yan, generic. Ah. May isa ko ka-friend nga, puwerte na sa magbakal sa bulong na branded. Pero ang branded na, huwag yun na buhin. kay nahilak sa mag-inom. Kay ang sabat niya, kung imnan niya sa isa, kung makita yung daw jutay na, daw nakulbaan siya. Siko si ikaw, imo, yaya, kapisan sa imo magbakal, pro tamad ka mag-inom. Ako, yaya, tamad ko magbakal, pro nami ko yung mag-inom. Kay kung kisa, ah, why gina, ano, wala gina resita sa doktor, o kung lasi, parang gina resita sa doktor, daw sakit, di ako mainom, tabla, inom naman ko na, dasong kong daw nadula, na bala, bala, na, wala naman. Kaya nga, ah, may medical doktor nga nag-reseta, correct? Ti doktor man ako. One anecdote is of that reseta thing is sang nagsakit-sakit sang ulo ko diri sang pandemic kay actually nagkaunay man lang sang tulog, tama? Pero siguro ala basic mo nga duga bukol basic kung ano na ini just ko. I texted Dr. Montano, Crisan dai resetahi ko ana isang amusin ni B ano ni niya, sir. Norgesic forte lang na ang imnon mo. Kagihat compress, okay. Pero da, hindi ko magpatigay, Crisan, kay bago pa lang nag-doktor. Abi, ang isa pagid, ang ihada ko, Nick, ano niya akong imnon? Loy, norgesic lang na. Kagihat compress, do, preyos na sa oh, daw, may ano na, may paralelism ng bakal tabala. Ata, kay wala reseta nga papel kay pandemic. I brought it to Mercury. Sili niya, Sir, hindi kami pwede kapaligya kayong wala sang ano, reseta. Di maano ako kay di, pandemic at to, alangan mang ngita, gina ko to. So I told her, dahil ga, ikaw ganit isang papel? Yung nga, anon mo sa, resitahan ko, kagalingon ko. Ako ang doktor, ako marisita, ako man mainom siya. Ay, doktor, kagali, sir. Oo. Asta subong. May arap nga kabataan. Sir, absent ako. Di wala ako medical certificate. Di ano ah, kung sinyo, pwede ako kapangayo, medical certificate. Nga sa ako, sir, kay doktor ka man. Noy, hindi ako pwede. Nga ah, sir, how? Pilagan ni edad mo, 17. Ay, kinangla mo yung magkanto sa pediatrician. Nga ah, hindi ikaw pwede, sir. Obstetrician ako yan. Tikalaw ay nakaroon nga makitaan nga nag-perma sa imo medical certificate obstetrics and gynecologist. Sige, ay okay, sir. Lusot na naman ako. Thank you, sir. Next one is our reminder to be open for the many novelties. There are new things for us to try. Educational leaders as we are, we are always the leaders of something new. In other words, arisgado, arisgada, atribido, e atribida. Why? This is an expression of empowerment and getting to the uncharted area would provide us with something new and the novelty to learn 
pi. Let's take a look. Here, the Santa Ana, the Museo de Santa Ana Museum. Nag-training, mala ako sa museum, management training of UP and, and museum its way. And then I found a niche and then started to curate the museum. Wala din ako yung panahon kay feeling ko na eh ako nandira ako sa red. Anay, damo. Ang mga makalam kamot, damo. The son, masiling ko nga, ay tipa, sigo mag-unta, tako ko lang ako, pa si Bangdan nga nagkawat sa kamot sa santo ninyo. Gakradula lang, ay ang buta, ginapag-ihaw nila. But basically, as it is in place right now, this novelty is becoming like a learning resource for me in my own practice as a social studies teacher. Not only for my bachelor's degree social studies majors, but as well as for my master's in education, in social studies, and my PhD curriculum development students. So I bring them there, look into the possibilities and how we're going to entertain such novelty on museum work or museum responsibilities. These are the lectures that I have and the Santos that I am taking care of right now. It's, she is called Santa Putina, the Samaritan whom Jesus met in the well and then whom Jesus had received water from and told the woman that if you drink water from this well, you won't go thirsty for the rest of your lives, uh, hypothetically speaking. Okay? So these are the things that we're doing right now. And kada, kada may mga Marian celebration, ang amo ng organization na, ng nagaplano, ma-exhibit, exhibit, Siling sa isa namun ka upod, kinanglan natin mag-amun ni Subong, kaybalaan mo, Feast of the Holy Face. Doon nagtagring, ginangakon nga dulunggan. Sing ko sa iya. Ano? Sa isa to ng October 8, may exhibit man. Correct? Sa November, may exhibit naman. Sa December, may exhibit na naman. Sa mapapista sa Holy Face, may exhibit naman. Ti ano na lang na iya? Ti ko magpista, biko rin sang... Feast of the Holy Nose. Ma-exhibit -ma naman ta? Holy Hands. Kadamudamo sa parts of the body nga ita? Unta tina. Kay tama, ka tama katrabaho so sa nga na Wala kita focus. Correct? Te amuna subong ang nga na namon. Uh, we are preparing right now for another exhibit on December 8. The different names of Virgin Mary through Immaculate Conception. And on December, uh, we will be putting up our Belen and Molo Church. And I think um, I have already expressed my intention of the theme that we are doing, which is parol. Ang background puro tanan parol. The son may mga atribido, atribida, nan may mga kurokomentar, kurokomentar. Ngang amuna, amuni, amuna. Kaya nga, gusto nila sila man. Pero huwag ko na sa ginasapak stress kita karon. So we also need to listen to those information that will be very helpful to us. If not, we will just be stressing ourselves so much, especially if you are into public service. What are the new things that you tried to empower yourselves during the pandemic? Nagatikista kita? Nagresearcher kita? Mm. Or the next day, Gidea, correct? May chimpo nga nagasugod pa lang yung lockdown. Nadlok ta ako magkanto sa lababo. Kaya nga ako magugas ang kabot, ang tanan ng mga virus, base di ragakad ko. Ako ba ang takon sa ulihi? Siling ko ay paranoid na iniya. No? Pagkatapos ginambalan ko, I have two olds at home, si mama kag si papa, and then the little boy. There are four of us. Ginambalan ko si mama nga, andam ka lang sa akong guwa-guwa, kada ko kay lampusan, taka. Si kaya ba na mo ba simba ako? Nga! Hindi ka ka batay, hindi doon sa'yo mo kung dili ka mag, ano, mag uh, pangamuyo. Ang ginihimu, yan naman, ninapaandar, yan na naman ang TV, kadira sa nagasimba. So gapamati lang dira siya. Pagaling ka ang simba, yan long play. Pagkatapos ang katedral, may ara, pag 
nag isang Villa katapos iya pag ito sa Manila ay nami kaisang pag ano pandemic ang ako nga ginabaydan sa kuryente tag 38 gid siya ang 16 nag 38 tungod sa amo na isa ka factor ang suro simbaya sa so, ligi na tago kong remote ah sige last one is never say no never say no but you keep ourselves safety because our commitment would have to be understood by everybody especially if we keep ourselves available and educational leaders are always transformative why and how do we go about it this time was my maiden exhibition in the world of research as early as eight o'clock i would already be online on eight o'clock in the evening and then start communicating with dr ryan michael Oducado. And then, ma istorya na kami na, dahi amuning ato ni Muun, amuning etc. etc. Kung amuning ato nga design, ano ato ni Muun? And then so on and so forth. Then, when, when we take a look onto our watch, it's already 3 o'clock in the morning. We're so soaked on research at the time. However, it was still good on doing that. So, on to that time, then, it's because... Our classes are as well online and will all be limited. Kay sang una ya, mapulaw ka blong nga gabi, pagkaaga, tulugan ta ka. Pagkatapos, magdwede ka mabugtaw, ako malantaw na naman ako sang Netflix, malantaw ako sang mga Korean telenovela and so on and so forth. Magdwede tulog na naman ako. Pagkagabi, it is as if that I was kissed by a handsome prince, magbugtaw ako, kay ma-research na naman ako. So basically, for the past two, Two years, it's, it was a whirlwind love affair for research that I was able to successfully produce 24 researchers all in all. I work with my students, I work with my co-teachers, I work with my friends, and at times I also work alone. And then successfully have those published, and it paid a lot for my very own promotion from Instructor 1 to Associate Professor 3 with nine steps historical leap from the promotion thing. And later on, I was able to run into the different editorial boards of the different journals, like the one on top there, International Journal for Arts and Humanities Studies, the Alkindi Publishers in the United Kingdom, that I was laid to be the editor-in-chief and others like in, I have one from India, two from Indonesia, and then one from Bangladesh, uh, and two from Malay and two from Malaysia. So it's a good try. Um, I was once like you to make to to assure you that I as well started from scratch and then little by little found people to help me and then I got a very good help and later on I was able to put my own scale onto that productive state and right now I am enjoying the fruit of this labor specifically in the field of research. Sige, sir. We need to maintain and develop our new skills for our learners, especially if we imbue to them the autonomy of self-learning skills because this will be their very own motivation as learners themselves. Likewise, yes, sir. Likewise, I brought my students in different international conferences as presenters because we produce researches onto the context of the pandemic in which despite that we were only meeting virtually, yet we were able to pull the strings together. So there was a time that we came across with an, a national conference sponsored by Nueva Ecc Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology through Dr. Jomar Urbano. And then I told Sir Jomar, we will be joining. And then we sent our different abstracts, but they were able to find out that it is not only that the professionals will be presenting. There were eight students from West Visayas State University sent their own abstracts. And then all the while, they thought that they will only entertain professional presenters, but they came up with another plan of having another category, which is student presentation. And all of them are my students. 
So they were able to pull the game so well, like HANA and then the certificates that we received from that conference. Likewise, another slide, sir. Likewise, this was the international conference that was organized by Dr. Farhana, a PhD in curriculum studies from Bangladesh in Dhaka University, whom I am in contact with. And then she invited us to join the international conferences. And then the, the one um, on your left wearing pink is Dr. Farhana. And then all the others are coming from different parts of Asia. And there were 80 students coming from the College of Education, social studies majors that joined the international conference for that, not only as a spectator, but as well as they were presenters. And four of them like Hannah, Rodell, and then Lester, and then the other one is Hart. And they are so and they are as well well trained to speak before the crowd. And we were even surprised that they could express themselves well despite that they were interacting with the professionals. So right now, when I ask them, join this one, it becomes an automatic thing. The, the automatic thing that I meant is um, that they send their abstracts for presentation, and then we're waiting for a conference, this one for year two, that uh, uh, Lester and the other members of the group would be presenting another study. And uh, it's, it's quite a very good training for the students, despite it's the pandemic time. Ano ang inyo yung mantra sa pandemic to keep you going? You will be surprised if I'm going to share my very own mantra. Ang mantra ko yung sa pandemic, ginambal ko yung per me, dapat kana kana lang. You know what a kana is, correct? The attitude of foreigners wearing bikinis in Boracay, who cares? Amunang ako yung naliwat-liwat, dapat kana kana. It means let it go. Hindi magpa-pressure. Subong, tama git ka-challenging ang magiging empleyo kag magservisyo nga college secretary sa graduate school. Kaya nga, ah, may mga graduate school professionals man nga daw kabudlay is pilingon. No? May ara git, realidad ina. Prosige lang, kay man, ka na ako yung klase secretary. pag nila, ano to die? Ay, sir, maamu ako sini, maamu ako sini. Sige, dali, diri. And then, kapus man lang sa ilagi na transact. So it becomes a lighter disposition for myself and for the students. It's because ang ginahimo ko, nagapakana kana lang. Hindi pagpresura ka, galingon mo. Kay karon kung matumba ka gani, wala pilas, ang amot, kung hindi isa gatos, dosyentos. Kung kisa abayinti, ang kapi trenta. Hindi pwede. True leaders lie in guiding others to success or to succeed as well. In ensuring that everyone is performing at their best. Doing the work they are pledged to do and doing, doing it very, very well. In my own context, I say, I have a cultural mission, and a philanthropic vocation as a teacher, as an educational leader. I teach social studies for the understanding of culture and establishing a lifelong learning, lifelong friendships by serving the least, the last, and the lost of this society. Throughout my professional and personal journey, tacit prowess and equivocal tolerance Lifelong learning and sublime versatility bloomed in me with a confidently beautiful heart. And I thank you.
So again, guys, please give a big round of applause to Dr. Dross, guys. Now, um, I'm pretty sure that you guys have questions, no? so, yeah, no? so um, it refers to the line, you know, so that you guys can probably prepare questions. So let's start uh, by having Sir also ask questions, and I say, you know, para nado ma ma ano sila, no? Maka frame mas ilang questions sa imo, basa iban bala nagawa yahu yah, no? So, Doc, can you probably shoot one or two questions and let's move on to our participants to ask queries to you. Kung, kung ang akong talk is all about us as beacons of hope or beacons of success for tomorrow, ti ano ka mo yan? Hmm. Sige, ano naman ang inyo yung uh, anagram? Kuna Kuya Beacon, kamuya ano? Ay, wala originality. Hindi pwede ang frozen food. Cancerous. Sige, ma'am. We are ships floating in the sea looking for a beacon of light. Ship floating in an ocean, and then today you see the light. <laughs> you see the light, ma'am. No, um, I really admire people who would always acknowledge shortcomings, that they would always find solace to other people, that I myself would always say, Ako. Daw kwan man, ma'am, daw, daw bangka man, nga nagalutaw-lutaw sometime. Nga kinanglan ko man the likes of Dr. Odocado in research, like the likes of Dr. Amabel Shason for guidance and counseling, like the likes of um, Dr. Montano to tell me that I am always wrong, like that. Kinanglan nga, hindi as always that I have to see life to be so perfect. Galing lang kay, um, every time I get to acknowledge my very own imperfection, I tend to tell myself that I am indeed a human being. Yogs, galing human being. Nagi pa. Pero sige lang, no? Shortcomings. Ugaling, if you'll ask me, sir, gin ginaconsider mo ina ang shortcoming ang amo nga ina ang sexualidad. Huu, ibo, raw-araw, mantaaton. Biologically speaking, wait mo ka kita sa inyong produkto. Correct? If you're asking me, sir, are you also afraid of tomorrow? Academically, no. Do you get what I mean? Socially, Yes. I have a little brother who happens to be the, our adopted boy, Pope, who, whom I expect to take care of me later when I get old. What if he gets married to an aswang wife? And then, basi, gaan niya lang kuya isang one cup of rice? Pagkatapos na yun, ang bacon niya, duwa lang niya kagulot? Bawa mo na pagdumog ko sa asawa niya, guru. That's why I'm always telling myself, I need to tighten my belt so, so, so tight. Kaya nga, ah, kung ang atong sildo amusini, kinanglan, one-fourth of it goes to the savings. Kaya ano nga akong plano? Ay, wala kong ilabot. Si Inas, wala kong magparang asawa sila o kung mag-irinano sila da. Total, may balay naman. Ihatag ko sa ilang balay. Bit-bitong kaya ako ng ATM, ATM card. Kumakadto ko ako sa asilo ni Molo. Kamata, Sister, ano yan ako ng ATM? Ara ang pension da. Himoa ako diri intern na. Diri ako yan sa home for the aged. Mayo na to yan yan. May sugo na ko yan yan. Uh, ano na, caregiver. Abi iklantawaan na yung kilay ko. Kung nang tsakto pa. Basi may galapaw. Abi pakigunting. O kung abilang tawa ang buhok ko, kung okay pa man na, why may nagatuwas, abiday i-check, anay da, kung ang spray net, da, ng damo pa. 
Yes, I am so afraid of tomorrow. Tuod din na yan. Despite that I am academically prepared, that I think I am academically prepared, but in that social context of life, syempre, nakulbaan man ako. Mayo lang sa pilakadlaw, kung may masapupo sa akon, what if abiwala, amuna kinanglan, damo dito yung kwarta, kaya na panumdum ko, kung hindi man ako mag-asilo di molo, may mga kayo na blusan, ako nga agawa nila, ako nga daw trophy nila, bala, ara si Tuto, bala mo damo sa kwarta, kinanglan sa pupuhon, tas siya. Pero bago nila yung kawaton kwarta, ako isulod ko na nga sa asilo di molo, pero hindi sa katilaw, tuod. That one, that's a big revelation on my part. Nga, kung magtulog, kung ginapraktisan, kung ginapun paano, kung mapatay, makinanglan, I really have to die beautiful. Kagun mapatay ako, paano ko buyan ang akong ginhawa? Mga amuna yung napanumdum ko. Kaya nga, ah, kinanglan, may rehearsal nga matabu. Kaya karun, ah, hi, ti... Wala ti mo pamilya, way ka bata, wala ka nano, wala ka man bana, wala ka nubyo, wala, wala. Wala git, tiki ng land. I have to die beautifully and independently. No, pero tiki ng land, di lang ano yung subong, ah, mga 90 will do. <laughs> pero kinang ko 90, kabalo pag ito yung mag, kinang land, kung mapatay ako 90, kinang land, bongga, pa ko yung mag-grandjete. Amula na pa kayo ko. Mga si 19, so nagkakamang ko ako. Nga daw si Sabrina M. Ay, hindi pwede. Hindi nami. No? Ma'am. If you have question, then that's fine. My question is. Well, now three. Well, I think three. Yeah. Okay. My question is: When you start, ka no like when you start, when you start, ka balas sir no. Sang gastard, sang gastard kasi ang researcher ano ang nabatagan mga habud life. This one. When you are starting on research, the big problem is you do not have a problem. Am I right? Yes. The next thing is you want to know everything. In research. That's why we call it research. Because you search it again. Research is a journey. It is not an overnight love affair or a one-night stand. No, you cannot do that. Kinanglan, amat-amat, amat-amat. Because it is like an ocean of knowledge that you need to swim. But at first, ano lang kalayo ang imulang yun? bag umu malabot ang produkto ng gusto mo. Another is, when you are conducting research, never be afraid to be lonely because it is just normal. When you talk to another friend, when you talk about the research methodology and grounded theory by Glasser, and she talks about and Curtis and Irwan Yusuf, you don't meet each other eye to eye. So you become lonely. Or you become misguided. It's normal. Got it? So there is order in this something disorderly prepared in research. So you need to gather that again. Amat, amat. When I started entertaining that Casa Marikit story that I fell in love with the house and started asking, is there a document on Casa Marikit? Hambal nila, wala. So I look into the internet, wala, purus vlog, purus blog, and so on and so forth. Wala, gid. No? I came across with a sheet of paper written by Dr. the late Dr. Fontecha of UP, ang hambalya. 
Si Don Julio Abeliana, sang una, permigi na hold up sa balaya, nagahaboy sa sangkwarta na nakapungpong sa punta sang kawayan, ginaswing niya pakadto sa gwa sang iya gate. There it started. Little by little. However, with that onset, I was also taken aback of not having the right amount of literature to back me up. I went back to my, um, I don't know, from West, I walked from West down to Robinson Iloilo. From Robinson Iloilo, I went back to Casa Plaza and then passed by Assumption Iloilo and then go back to Manduriao Airport. It took me one hour and a half to do a serendipity walk. While walking, I was trying to toy, what if nga ma-shift na lang ko with another house, Rosendo, Mexica, na lang kay in place ang mga dokumento ara iyaya ang mga needed kung information. So I was so confident in telling my advisor. I met Dr. Vicente Handa And then I told him, Tatay Ite, pwede islan ko na hindi na lang ko magkasamarikit kayo wala gid ako sang impormasyon na kuwaan sa iya. Simple. He told me, amo na galing nga ma-research ka? Kaya wala impormasyon. Siling ko, ti na bula yan, gid ako. Ti amo na galing nga ma-research ka? Kaya wala impormasyon. Paghambal ya, You conduct that research because you will be the one to bridge the information gap. And later on, when people think of Casa Marikit, there is always, there would only be always and only one in their own minds to talk about it. On a research document, it will be you. That's why... On that period from 2016, 17, 18, until today, most of my co-teachers and friends who attended my final defense that I brought the graduate school to Casa Marikit, the Tugit Kuyinag final defense, they started calling me Inday Marikit. So amuna na iyang akon subong nga palayaw or nickname si Inday Marikit because of the Casa Marikit. Every time that we have visitors in the university, they always entertain, oh, we bring you to the different beautiful places here in Ilong Inday Marikit. Ara na naman ta. May klase ka maunta pagid, but it is a part of your cultural mission, so I bring them there. It is as if that they're thinking that I have a script. No, the one that I'm talking about is very spontaneous because these informations were the ones that I wrote as well in my own manuscript. But there were also information that I did not include through the pleadings of my informants that they were saying, this is very critical. Basi, mapriso kita ni mga suru chismes, may aragin. Pero I did not Ilongos about the superstitious beliefs running in that house. My duende, wala duende, pero may istorya sang duende, yes, may ara. Kung tuod mo ng duende, pakialam ko. Basta may istorya, ginatag sa So I coded it. Casa Marikit as an herb that the house is a house of Marian devotion because of the Flores de Mayo, the names of the children that are starting with Maria, Lourdes, Salvacion, and so on, Milagros, Fernando, and so on and so forth. And it is a museum today. So with this, it could have been that I entertained that second thought. I could not have produced that manuscript about Casa Marikit. So boom. Every time nga may mga vlog vlog nga inaway na ko nga bais no kay nga ang ila na iya lain man na iya for entertainment purposes hindi siya pang academic purposes may ara gani didto nga naghambal nga may nagaluto kuno sang cake kuno sang alas dos sang hapon daso nang basa may galuto di cake tega inyo ako bi ano nang may espiritu nga na mga chef ina sa mga baker ina sila So I did not just believe in it, but I took the story and put it in my own research. 
and then conducted my own experiment and investigation. So I went near the Paa Panaderia de Paa and asked them, what time is your uh, mass production of the pandisal? They told me to o'clock, there it goes. And onto the time, there was one informant who said, ang ina nga area, wayang ina. Nga awala hangin, nga magalupad sa hamot, sang tinapay, pakadto dito. Di, siguro, iyan na iyan panaderia, di pa. plus the measuring of the bulada of the house, everything that you do. So these are difficulties, yet they are turned into something very monumental. Mambal subong niya, pinaidas ang kasama rikit, siling na, tuod na 200 years, year old plus. No, according to my own research, it is 130 plus because the computation is this. Maubos ang istorya, taka maubos ang adlaw nga hindi tako maubos ang istorya ng kasa marikit. Because it is a product of research. So ma'am, nagasugod ka sa buong sa imo nga dissertation or masters. Da yun nagakuha ka research. For example, pa lang. Sino nang nagakuha research sa buong abibayaw ang kamot? O kung ang nagasulat sa thesis kag dissertation? Sige, nagapanugod. Hindi ano yung pagproblema, ha? Ha? Problema, ha? Na lang kung ara na. Kay once nga ara na gani, pag point of no return ka, nagaalam ka. Amunang natubo sa akon. Kay hala, kung higit ka problema, te, sang ara na, nagbonggang-bongga man ang performance ko, pati takla sa mga pati ubra ko man. So natapos man. And today, it's it's a it's unbelievably believable maiden voyage that I had. Sige. Okay, okay, Tom. Sir. Um. So you're going to play Can we have a question coming from this section, please? No? Any... Uh... Dimensional mo yun, hindi na, hindi na natin, no? Sir? Uh, all my social studies students, master's degree students who are under me, and then my PhD students, once they get a subject under my care, it is always a mandatory activity that we visit the house. And they get to have a refreshed, experience of what the story of the house is. What I would always, what I would only do is, if it is cultural anthropology, we discuss principles in anthropology using the house. If it is foundations of education, the principles on existentialism, perennialism, progressivism, and so on and so forth, ginakonnect that namun. Kung curriculum development naman niya, I showed them my own output on how the house have provided me with a constructivist, constructionist um, lens in order to produce an output. So, ginaamu ko na siya. No? Pero kung mga turuturista, yati eklavu lang. Kaya hindi mo na sa pwede lecture, ang wala nang pusan nila ulo ko. Nga naubos, itsimpo nila. Kaya yung tuyo na nila, mabakal sopa, mabakal batso, matilaw sang biskutso, makal sang battery scotch. Istoryahan mo sa sangkasa, marikit lingin, ulo nila. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, Doc. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm Sir Pilar from Manduria also. Manduria, Where in Manduria? Manduria National High School. Oh, say my hello to Sir Ricky. Yes, thank you. 
Um, I just would like to ask uh, from you, uh, what you call this one, a comment or any suggestion. Because as a school head, in my, in my part, as a school head, uh, we have this LGBTQ or mga student pala in our school. So when I require them to have that um, uh, documents, manuscript, uh, because they are going to ask me for a reconsideration, especially the proper haircut. Yes. I hope you got it, sir. Correct. <laughs> That's the same problem that I have, that every time I get to see students from West Visayas, specifically in the College of Education, not wearing the complete uniform and not sporting the proper haircut, I have my own argument on that. Thank same you, problem, sir. sir. So we are referring here of the DPED Order number 32 series of yes. 2017. It's all about gender responsive for education policy. Yes. And a school has also its uh, policies, which I'll hear from you, a comment. So taking part, because as a school head, do ara bala kami sa tumatunga ano bala himo una mo if if kun ga reconsider sila consider but it is also a violation of our school policy sir you are serving the principal there right now correct sir sir we have an abrupt abolition of one project that i have to roll out in your school which is the mobile museum I, i'll visit you and we'll discuss it because we'll be bringing the cultural artifacts that I got from abroad to be shared to your students. Aprobahan mo, sir, ha? Nice to hear that, sir. That, so good. <laughs> Thank oh, you, sir. Thank you. Sige. Sir, your policies are in place, correct? What does it tell about the haircut? It should be uh, tolerable. Correct. Is, are the policies in your school in congruence to the DepEd memo Yes, but the trickling down of the DepEd memo vis-a-vis -vis the school policy are as well incongruent with each other. Basic of it. But subjectivity-wise, in accordance with your own interpretation of what tolerable for you may not be tolerable for me is the gray area. Correct? This away, the so-called LGBTQ rights and so on and so forth. In the first place, when you came over to my school that you enrolled here, you must be very adept of the policy. And the policy tells it's tolerable. What's tolerable for me as a member of the LGBTQ that I'm sporting this hair, this long hair, is not tolerable onto your own interpretation because you're thinking about in that context that it is to be two by three, which is very clear to maritime school. Schools, two by three. So two and three fingers here. That's it. But the tolerable thing must be tolerable that they will not also be putting the school in hot water and providing the school with an impression that this school appears like a Manila Zoo or Manduriao High School Zoo. Correct? Wala tayong magagawa sa kanila. Wala kaming matres pero dumarami kami by the virtue of ovarian inspiration. Toon. In my own case, college secretary of the graduate school, dapat why hindi ko maghilabot sa undergrad, but I am running the education student council. In other words, since I am a faculty of the undergrad, may ilabot ko sa inyo nga education students. I call them, Dine, your hair is longer than mine. What do you plan? Ay, sir, about dan ko ni. Okay, hana mi un mo ang pagpagunting sina nga ang itsura mo sa pilak adlaw, maestro ka man. Kay nga, ah, kung pasugtan takasubong kay amuni ang polisiya nga laba ka buhok, we respected everything. When you go out and when you applied for a job and you were not ex accepted because of your hairstyle, you'll go back to us and tell
football ball na sang daw na ano na tus galagaw kasi university think ko sa iya pasug tanta ka kun mas mahal ang imo klag sang sa akon kag mas taas chinilas ka kabudlay kay ang polisiya may gray area pero iprepara man naton sila tani kung ano ang magiging epekto ni sa ila magiging buwas damlag kung magwa sila sa eskulahan. Because the school is a microcosm society that we prepare them for the real world. Why gid yabla problema kung may mga agi? Ang problema kung ang agi, laba na buhok, kutuhon pa, daso na ang pagblanyas ang buhok kaya do agwa oksinada man lang, makailinit. Do chow chow churaya. May ara gid dia a. Ah. May ara gid na. Subong ang plano ko sir sa taga College of Ed nga ina kay nasa jahan ako ay nami ni sa do naga pang make up ini siya ini siya naga pang gunting ay ari mo ay. Okay girls, ma-meet kita ano nang jo, nang si Joshua Aldamar. Jo- Joshua and then amuni pangtipuna ang tanan nga mga kaagian. kay ma-meet ang Raina sa ila. Hambali sila nga mahimo kita sang aton bago nga organization, balangaw, rainbow. Ikaw, manami ka mang gunting, mang make-up, etc. Kada may mang make-up and so on and so forth. Kada hapon, makadto ka mo din sa akon, kay mabuli ka mo, anay, prepare sa mga paperwork, sa amo-amo na ginobra ko. And then, ikaw, manami ka mang gunting sa December, preparar ka, Ibaid mo may yung gunting mo, kay mang gunting kita to sa BJMP. May ginalook forward sila, sir. Pero sa pagunting sa length sang buhok, kamo nga duwa mas strike sang compromise. Kaya ang imo buhok as tagidi. Ay, hindi ko na insert pwede pag paguntingan kay gamis gay ko yung adaan. Okay, sige. Kay hindi kagid magpagunting. Ano ang compromise nga ihatag mo sa akon? Nga ihatag ko ng kondisyon nga gusto mo, mahatag mo ang kondisyon mo sa akon. O sige sir, ang akon buki mo, on ko na lang banat per me. Kapag makita ko nga ginabungkag mong buhok mo, ikaw mismo magkutrab sa buhok mo. Fine sa imo? Mga amulang na bala sir. Pero ang ina, baw, hindi kita magdakop sa buhok nila. Ikaw nga agita. Ayun. Kay ina, iya gamito na nila, iya LGBTQ, nga mga rights nila, human rights. Tanan nga mga right, kag left, ti il, kamot, mga ilong, tanan. Mga, mga kagian, puwerte gudya. No? Ang ano lang, strike a balance ng kamo, sir. Strike a compromise. Nga, bala mo pangabuyan, mana nila, ang buhok nila. No? Pero, kung mga, ang mga kagian, nga daw mga puwerte, nagigayaya, kauslitan, Gito mabato, nagidya ang himuon, ginahimo ko na sir, kapadala ko sang voice over flower red card. Meet me at my office at four, Dr. Pedroso. Pag makabato, nagsantan na yung mga kabot nila, nag-shake. The soon, masulod sila sa ako ng pisina and then I'll, I'll, I'll talk to them, masinsinan. Pero ayun ako na yung nagpamwirsa. Ay, wa isang agi, imam ko na-stroke ko ako niya. Oh, just ko. So, mambala ko na say, what did you do? What do you plan for this one? May ara ka isang una nga first year pa lang sa nga rally rally sa rally rally. Dr. Montanyo nga tuto, ang imo isa kay estudyante nga rally rally. Abi ipatawag ina siya bo nang tagring naman espiritu ko. Domingo nga Domingo kila may istorya ka kay may PFCA pang assembly. Okay, patawag dai ka to di red card pag abot kurog kurog. Nagano ka sang biyernes dai sir nag rally ti pinakabilog ang tawo nga nakabati sa mo amot gani sir ah kay ang ginasingitan na mo to ang sakwan ang mga nagaalagi bala nga jeep sin ko ti na appreciate man nila ang sagit mo hindi siya kasabat sa ako okay kay gusto mo gid sang rally rally kay sa mga luro liberalisation nga ni nang kunano nang pangwakol mo mga rice tariff liberalization o ano I'll give you the responsibility in the organization to organize a policy forum, work with the graduate school. Nag-organizer October. Nakakita kami tamon 20,000. Okay, sin ko siya, Tiday, maliwat ka parali. Sin nga, sir, nami mag-organize ang policy forum. Pero nami man nag-rally. Okay, rally. Ito kayo mapapalisi forum. Kaliwat. So buong way na sa garally, ga-absent na lang siya sa klase. <laughs> Arisgada. 
strike a balance ng circle compromise ah uh, istoryahan yung adua no <laughs> ano dito room tapos na isa na lang kaya kung makakig naman sa nga, lawig-lawig. <laughs> One last. One last. Because our organization right now, the 3S Society, um, come December next month, we will be getting our UNESCO accreditation for the past four years that we have been into that organization of Philippines. And then the student leader that happens to be the president of the 3S Society is the outstanding student leader of the Philippines in the UNESCO level. So we bring our organization there. And right now, they are rolling out an activity in Iloilo City National High School, the student leadership and team building activity. So after this, I have to go back to the graduate school and then check on them again. So that's how busy my life is. Not if Marco Gumaba would be coming over and then fetch me, then I'll say yes. Marco Gumaba, lang ako na. Ma'am, okay na? Thank you. Thank you very much. A round of applause to our speaker, Dr. Jan Erwin Pedroso. Your coming really has given a lot of inputs to our graduate school students. And we are very glad that uh, you were able to share a lot of uh, teachings, especially those who are occupying higher positions in their respective areas. So thank you very much, Sir Irene. Um, I'm hoping you are not getting mad of me saying, sir. <laughs> okay, as a sign of gratitude for all the inputs you had shared to our students, I would like to request our Dean to give this uh, token to you. Together with our organizers, Sir or Romy, Moralista, and requesting you to be at the center. It has no certificate, but the certificate will just follow. Depende na kay Sir Romy. <laughs> I know you are friends. <laughs> okay, so as a sign of our gratitude, we are giving this token to you. I hope you will appreciate, Sir. This would be uh, coming from the organizers' hand. Thank you very much for that, Sir. Okay, so once again, thank you very much, Sir John Erwin, for being with us in this uh, first ever uh, tawagni, first ever international training on boundaries planning. Thank you very much, everyone, for your uh, kind attention that you have heard my story as well. And then meeting you in person is such a privilege after such a long time of being engaged in the virtual world. So it is as if that we're like renewed individuals. And then it is a matter of not saying no to Tito Rome because of the many opportunities that he has given me. Uh, one week is more than enough to prepare. And then saying as well, thank you to our Dean, Dr. Early Martyr, that happens to be a godfather of my uh, little brother, Paul. Thank you very much, everyone. First year in Manduleo High School, TV, and then Manu Joseph. Thank oh. you. All right. Thank you very much again. So again, a round of applause to our speaker. There are still a lot of speakers who would be sharing to you inputs and insights. But then to break the ice, we will be having first the election of our officers. We will be organizing today the first ever graduate school student council. So this would be a combination of all courses and all programs. That includes EDD, the Doctor of Management, the PhD, MED, MBA, and MPA. Uh, last time, we had posted uh, online nominations in different group chats. However, we were not able to make it really successful because there are very few nominees and very few of the students participated in that election. So we had come to a plan that we will have it face-to-face -face this time. 
And the mechanics would be, uh, we will be considering those who are nominated online. They would be part of the nominees for the positions that were nominated. But we will be adding on those from this area. Those who are attending the face-to-face -face, um, training will be given a chance to be nominated in various positions. So we will be showing now the positions. Can the ICT department assist us? We will be showing in a while the nominees for the different positions, but I assure you that there are a lot of positions having no nominees. So we will have to complete them today. I'm sorry for those who are attending virtually. You cannot um, vote your nominees because we will just be counting the votation of those who are in this area, including that outside this building. Okay, you might wonder why we are going to organize a student council. Uh, you know, our graduate school is getting bigger and the population is increasing every semester. So we need student officials who would assist us in the management of the programs and activities. For the different positions, we will be looking into officers for the position of the president, the vice president, the secretary, assistant secretary, treasurer, business manager, auditor, press relation officer, peace information officer, then representatives for each of the programs that we are offering in the graduate school. So looking back into the president, we can see that online there is two, uh, there are two nominees already. That's uh, Sir Edgar Arroyal and um, Mama Jess Alconca Tarico Barabona. So this time to get this on, we would like to open the nomination for president. Additional nomination. I hope the secretariat can help me identifying People, do we have the microphone aside from this one? Ara, siguro. Okay, sir, you are recognized. Sir, pwede ka na lang kapalapit ng bit, sir. Pwede ka sa kapalapit, sir. For those who are outside, I hope that you kami da. Please come over if you have nominations. Sige, sir, again. Good morning. Ma'am, I have the honor to nominate Ma'am Mary Ann Simosa for president. Mary Ann Simora is added to the nomination. Ma'am, please tell me if the spelling is wrong, Mama. Yes, I, I think. Okay, some more nominations, sir. You are recognized. Okay, it has been moved and seconded that the nomination for president. Ah, I open ko no anay daw, additional. <laughs> there is an objection from our dean. So let's consider it. Additional nominations, sir, you are recognized. Ma'am, I have the honor to nominate Justin Diana. Justin Diana. Pilyado, sir, Diana. Oh, Diana. Okay. So Justin Diana is nominated to be added in the nominees. Are there some more? Is the spelling correct? K-U-S, Justin Gale. Just. Are there some more? Ma'am Roxy Caldera, Bantay. Uh -oh. May ara sa gua. May man nominate. Wala na may manominate. So, any motion to close the nomination? Consider to tong kay sir. Repeat na lang siguro, sir. Okay, so, seconded by... All right. 
So it has been moved and seconded that the nomination for president is now closed. We have four nominees. Are these nominees around? Can we hear something? To see? Siguro mga two minutes, one minute, one minute talk. So the nominees again are Sir Edgar Ariel, Mama Jess Alconca, Tariko Barabona, Mama Mary Ann Simora, and Justine Diana. Are you in? Are you here? Sige, sir. Let's hear mga one minute, 30 seconds. All right. So <laughs> first and foremost, I would like to greet each and every one of our pleasant morning. So it's nice, you know, yeah, it's very uh, ecstatic you know, that most of us are here, not the not the totality, but the majority of us are here. So I am uh, I am currently though, the Mr. Guimara State University 2022. Uh, <laughs> and of course I yes, I was a little bit <laughs> shocked and bamboozled why why I was nominated as as the president of this graduate school. So just like what I has, I have said no uh, last um, last uh, last pageant, uh, my advocacy is to help uh, Gimara State University to provide its uh, client, of course, with uh, with quality and excellent education. So paano natin mahatag no ang quality and excellent education if uh, most uh, if uh, there are you know, many you know, uh, many students will you know, will will go here and. Uh, and to enroll uh, their selves to be uh, a part or a change agent, not only in our university, uh, of course, to uh, to be globally competitive. Uh, second is I will help no Gimara State University by you know by promoting no uh, green technology generation. So I guess on our part we can do our share by actively participating in the activities of our school and uh, and community by applying the the bio-intensive gardening technique, which can eliminate the use of uh, commercial fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides that may lead to, to the harmful effects of, eutr of eutrophication. And also, uh, I would like no, no, to to one of the one of the issues and concerns uh, during the the ano, the the cultural activity. Uh, there is ano, no, uh, not not a massive population of students who joined the 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 uh, the cultural uh, uh so uh, the cultural so on our part we can do um our share by actively you know, participating in the sports fest and cultural competition which will you know which will nurture our our knowledge skills and attitude and can give and can give a uh, mutual or significant uh, communication between the the university and and the uh, and the students, of course, and also one of the concerns, also as being part of a uh, a, a, a graduate student, is uh, we have uh, uh, always have this arduous task of uh, of uh, uh, though we have already enrolled ourselves, but the but the sad part of it is uh, we wasn't able not to locate or to search our our no our our professors. So so as as uh, nominated and to, and uh, also as to be part of the of the officers i will know i will help our our school para mas dasig natin maka, uh, to create a group chat or uh, mas accessible among student how to locate their their professors kasi uh, it's been <laughs> it's been our no uh, it's been our perennial problem <laughs> but uh, thank you very much for i uh, know thank you very much for for listening and god bless everyone my name is Mr. Justin Jan Diana, uh, taking a Doctor of Management, major in Human Resource Management. Thank you. Okay, so thank you very much, Sir Justin, for that. Is Ma Mary Ann around? Good morning, everyone. For those who... Oh, Excuse me. I would like to introduce myself. I am Mrs. Mary Ann Tudense Simora from Ahui. Um, 28 years in service and uh, taking up Doctor of Education. I um, 
wala man ako uh, i-promise. The only thing I would say is um, 24-7 ah, na service for the good of uh, the graduate school. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Mom Mary Ann. I'd like to check if uh, Mom Barabona is around. Mama Jess Barabona. Mom Rox, sarap na siya sa gua. Wala. Or another one, Sir Arroyal. Okay. You can use that one, Sir. Oh. Um, good morning, my uh, fellow graduate school students. Um, I'm Edgar I. Arroyal Jr. from the district of uh, Kabatuan II. I'm a doctor of my, uh, uh, philosophy of education, major in educational management. And um, I'm overwhelmed with my uh, damo, kilala ko sa online <laughs> sa GC. So I have nothing to promise nga pareho kay Sir Justin kagina nga daw doon na pressure gita ko kang anang mga advocacy. <laughs> so, oo. So, ama lang na ang maano ko sis, uh, I'm just here na samtang ari pa ko diri sa may uh, GSU graduate school. Um, I'm willing to help whatever nga ma encounter diri sa may aton nga graduate school uh, most likely sa mga students kay ang aton subong uh, problem bisan online kita dodamo bala nga mga classmates naton nga wala pa nasulod sa mga GC ka wala pa nakakita sa ilang mga professor sa mga ginang major problem so as a uh, Kung ara man lang ako sa GC, I'm willing to help kang atin ng mga sa mga classmates natin nga wala diri. So, uh, lastly, I'm Edgar I. Ariel Jr. Um, I'm just here to help pareho na lang kay Ma'am Kagina. Everybody, we should help each other for the betterment of the GSU Graduate School. Thank you. Okay, so thank you very much, Sir Ariel. So, although Ma'am Barabona is not around, but she is included because she was nominated online. So let us now divide the house. Let us see who will win as the president of the Graduate School Student Council. Mam Ma Rox, are our audience there outside ready? Bati on the ra. All right, so let us now divide the house. There are four nominees to repeat. Nominee number one, Sir Edgar Arroyal. Nominee number two, Mama Jez Alconca Torrico Barabona. Nominee number three, Ma Mary Ann Simora. And nominee number four, we have Sir Justin Diana. Okay. We have facilitators in white uniform. Please help us in counting the, the votes. Viva Bossi. <laughs> okay. Let us now divide the house. Who are in favor of Sir Edgar Arroyal to be our president? Please raise your right hand higher. Seventeen inside. How about outside, Mam Rocks? Two. How about uh, uh, Mama Jez Alconca Torrico Barabona, who is in favor that she would be our president inside this hall? None. How about outside, Mam Rocks? All right, another one. Who is in favor of Ma Mary Ann Simora to be our president? How many? 22 inside, 23 outside. Pila, basi sa mathematics ko. 23 plus 22 is 45. All right. 
Let's have another one. Our last nominee is Sir Justine Diana, who is in favor that he would be our president. Please raise your hand higher. Inside 12, 20 outside. So we have 32. Okay, so it's very clear that our president is Mom Mary Ann Simora. Congratulations, Mom. And that would mean you will have to take over my place to continue. Yes, sir. Can we have the microphone, sir, for those uh, for the benefit of those who are outside? So those who are outside, uh, let us listen. There is a suggestion from sir. Uh, this is my suggestion that the second highest vote will be the vice president if the body will approve it. Ah, uh, yes. I will. I, I'm sorry, I was not able to see that, that there is a nomination. Thank you. Okay, sige sir. So, may ara kita nomination, Abby, sa Vice President. So, if you like, sir, let's just uh, nominate them again for the Vice President. Okay, so again, congratulations, Ma Mary Ann. And I have to repeat, it's your turn to take over my place here to continue the election. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for the support, especially for the Doctor of Education. Okay, let's proceed to the votation of the Vice President. Any other nominations, sir? I have the honor to nominate again, Justin Diana for Vice President. Okay. Okay, Justine Diana is nominated. Some more nominations, sir. Sir Edgar is nominated. Yes. Okay. Uh -oh. Some more nominations. Is there other? No more? Okay, let's close the votation for vice president. Let's go to... Uh, the potential for, uh, who is in favor of Sir Joseph La Chica? Please raise your hand, Sir Joseph. A presentation, a uh, presentation, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Good morning. No, ano no oras na ni subong Dr. Norco Matcha ko ay panyaga ba? Good morning everyone. Pagka bago Dr. Norco ay kumuno kad law. Joko to tani. Pati ah. I'm Mr. Joseph T. La Chica from Tubungan, Iloilo. May taga Tubungan dai. Ato, may buto na ko ba? Pati ah. Kami magulang ko dai di ko masiro. Wala. From the Doctor of Philosophy. Ka pipsem ko na ni Ma'am, mga classmates, mga friends no. Pero I-try ko man ang best ko bilang, kung mapilian nyo bilang Vice President, i-try ko man ang best ko. Kaya isugid ko, anay kong sinugid ako. Basta man, baka mga sinugid at uyat microphone naman. A schoolhead from the district of Hordan 2. Sinuha at lagaw sa Hordan. Okay. Nabiyag man ko di isang taga-gimaras kaya tamis ko di mangga. Okay, damo di guwapagin man. Okay. President mo ko sa Guardians Brady Road Incorporated di sa Nueva Valencia, no? Lay Minister sa St. Vincent Ferrer Parish. The son, uh, Secretary ako din sa Bilog Gimara sa Department of Justice, Parole and Probation Administration. Kag uh, nag-servisyo mo na ako bilang volunteer during the lockdown bala sa COVID. Kaya nag-checkpoint kami sa border. No? Very active man sa sports. Nag-second place ako pag sports. Sa table tennis, sino ito kalantaw? Sa mga kasmi ko sa Doctor of Philosophy, sa mga grupo ko, thank you very much sa suportahan nyo. Isang kapo, iti laingid man kong nag-abinuligay. No? 
Once again, advance Merry Christmas to all and good morning. Thank you, sir. Next, we have Mom Senya Alubin Alcobilia. Is Mom around? Wala si Mom. Mom Procesa Escobar. Is Mom around? Wala. Okay, we have already heard Sir Justin and Sir Edgar. So this time, let's go to the votation of the house. Who is in favor of Sir Joseph Lachica? Please raise your hand. Eighteen, fifteen, outside, six, twenty-one. Mom Zenia Alubin Alcobilia, please raise your right hand if you want to vote for Mom Zenia. Those who are in favor. Outside, voila. One. For Mom Princesa Escobar. Outside. Wala. Sir Justin Diana. For Sir Justin Diana, please raise your hand. Thirteen outside, how many? Forty-two. And Sir Edgar Arroyal. Eighteen outside. So our vice president is Sir Justin Diana. Congratulations. Okay. Our secretary, the position of secretary is now open for vote. Any nominations from, sec from the position of secretary, sir? Hi, um, good morning, everyone. I have the honor to nominate Sir Joseph Lacheka for the secretary. Okay, Sir Joseph is nominated. Some more nominations. Yes, ma'am. Sir Edgar is still nominated. Some more? Yes, ma'am. Heidi Floor. Mom, Heidi Floor. Abordi. Uh, Mom, Heidi Floor Abordi is nominated. Heidi Floor. Some more nominations. Okay, it has been moved and seconded to the nomination for secretary. We close. Okay, let's go to votation. Who is in favor of Sir Dale? Ah, any, ano ganit gali? Sorry, ha. Uh, one and I presentation. Okay, Sir Dale. Where is Sir Dale? Ara si Sir Dale. Wala. Sir Joseph, tapos naman. Okay, Ma'am Heidi Floor, please come over. Okay. 
Our first runner up during our Miss GSU. Dada ko nag-spill ka, tumami na gaba mo moment. Good morning, uh, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am president. Good morning to all of you. To uh, Sir Sir Jo. Good morning po, Doc. Uh, I'm Heidi Flor Aborde. Surprisingly, I was nominated. Nambala kong hindi. So, simply lang, no advocacies, no promises, no uh, 24-7, just 7-11. So, kung ang president... 24-7. Ang Vice President, Mr. GSU 2022, doon nami siguro baskog kung ang secretary ang first runner-up. Ah. <laughs> okay, wala. Um, thank you so much for uh, being uh, For the opportunity of being nominated, being nominated is already an honor. So, secretary or not, I'm here to support GSU all the way. So, thank you very much and have a nice day. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, let's go to petition. Who is in favor of sale, Sir Dale Fabiona? Any? Those who are in favor, outside, wala. Go online, Penny. Uh, there was a comment online telling why the online attendees are not uh, allowed to vote. But let us have an explanation to that. There was a memo from the dean telling us that we have to come over for the election of the student council. That is why I'm sorry for those who are in uh, the online platform. We cannot accommodate your Uh, votes and your nominations anyway are considered naman. So I'm ho hoping this can be understood by everyone. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Who is in favor of Sir Dale Pabiona? One. How about outside? One. Two. Okay. Sir Joseph Lachika. Please raise your hands. Outside. 13 outside. 23. For Sir Edgar Arroyo. Outside, nine. And for Mom Heidi Floor Aborde. The first runner up. Ako pa, Mom? Congratulations, Ma'am Heide, for being the secretary. Bulos ka na di, Lai, na di. Diri ka na. Come here. Hi, my picture, si Ma'am. Okay. Assistant secretary is now open for nomination. Any nominations for Assistant Secretary? Any nominations for Assistant Secretary? Well, I, sir. Ano si Sir? Melanie? Yes. Correct? Okay, thank you, Sir. Some more nominations. People outside, do you have any nominations? Yes. Yes. 
Okay. Sir Joseph is nominated. Some more nominations? Wala na? No more? No more nominations for Assistant Secretary? Okay, it has been moved and seconded that the nomination for Assistant Secretary be closed. Okay, let's call on Sir Redin Nadella Gorin for a short uh, introduction. Okay, so Ma Melanie, Ma Melanie Serra. Good morning, everyone. I'm Melanie A. Serra, a student of Doctor of Philosophy, major in Educational Management. My, I will give service to my fellow graduate school. Any help, I, I am willing to help as long as I uh, makaya ko ah. Ma help ako. I hope ta para uh, I believe in saying that no man is an island. One of us need the help of our fellow man in order to achieve success, satisfaction, and our country will become successful. That a lot of people, a, a lot of fellow students will enroll in graduate school. Nga maka graduate man sila, kag maka help, kag maka service man sa others to be uh, willing to help anytime. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Let's go to votation. Who is in favor of Sir Riden Nadella Gorin? Outside, ma'am. Wala. Okay. Ma'am Melanie Serra. Please raise your hands for Mom Melanie Sarah. Two outside, 18, 20. For Sir Joseph Lachica. Are you Sir Pihonani? Outside, two. Okay. Congratulations, Sir Joseph Lachica, as our Assistant Secretary. Okay. The position for Treasurer is now open for nomination. Amoginitaning gusto ko ya, ang Treasurer. Oo. Okay, nominations. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. I have the honor to nominate Ma'am Renette Espoli for the position of treasurer. Ma'am Renette is nominated. Some more nominations. Espoli. Renette, R E N. Ano spelling ka ng ara ni ma'am? R E N N E double T T E S P O L E E S P O L E E. Okay, some more nominations for treasurer. Wala na. No more? No additional nominees? Wala na? Lantaw ba di sa kilid mo? Friends mo? Yes, ma'am. Oh, 
Okay, it has been moved and seconded to the nomination for treasurer be closed. Let's go to the votation of the house. Who is in favor of, I did, sorry. Ma'am, as in Harvey, Sir Harvey Fortaleza. Is, is, is he around? Sir Harvey, wala. Okay, let's go to Ma'am Renette for a short message. Wait, Ma'am. Mapisan ta ng taga EDD, magpa-GSU mo. Ba, mo talaga sa lang ta mo sa Gimaras? Hey, good morning, everyone. I am Mrs. Renette J. Spoli from Canas Integrated School, District of San Genesio. Uh, San Junisio is a very far uh, district kung iyan na sa Gimaras. But I'm proud to say that almost all of the activities of Gimaras I am present. And maybe as long for the improvement and for if the GSU needs our services, uh, uh, I'm sure nga aragid ko mag-support para sa eskulahan. So thank you so much and good morning, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go to the votation of the house. Let's who is in favor of Sir Harvey Fortaleza? Outside, ma'am. One here. One. One. For Ma'am Rinette is Polly. Outside, well, let me. 24, 47. Congratulations, Mom Renette Espoli. Okay, let's go to. Well, let me. Assistant? Okay. Let's go to the position of the. Uh, Assistant Treasurer is now open for nomination. Yes, ma'am. Sir Edgar Arroyal is nominated. Some more nominations. Sir. Ay, wow. All right, good. This has been moved and seconded that the nomination for assistant treasurer be closed. So, our assistant treasurer is no other than Sir Edgar Arroyo. Congratulations. Uh, for the position of business manager is now open. Yes, ma'am. Fredson, Wilson, Wilson, Wedson, ah, Wedson. Okay, Sir Wedson Bagonok is nominated. O, 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 G O. Junior. Okay, some more nominations. Yes, sir. Mom Melanie is nominated. Sir. Sir, hindi mabatian? Ah, okay. Diyos me. Si Mom Vicky malanggali. Mom Vicky Songkoya is nominated. Hermosura. Hermosura. Uh, uh. Some more nominations. This is manager. Wala na. Ah? Okay. It has been moved and seconded. The denomination for business manager be closed. Okay. Let's call on Sir Wedson Bagunok Jr. Followed by Mom Vicky Hermosara later for a short 
introduction. Go ahead, sir. Of course, now they have to know me. <laughs> All right, so again, good morning. I am Watson Baginik Jr. I am from the district of Nueva Valencia North. Mm, yes, uh, I'm just new to the position, being a teacher one, but then I am equipped already since I already have the... Uh, the experience of being a student council in the university before. And I think this is going to be the best venue that I'm going to extend my, my talents and my uh, skills in leadership here in the graduate school since the, this is my first year. Thank you so much. Ay, wow. Thank you, sir. Ma'am Vicky. Ma'am Vicky. Good morning to all. I'm Vicky Hermosura from the district of Bavia. Okay, I have uh, nothing to promise. Go, 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 Edidi. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Okay, let's go to votation. Who is in favor of Sir Wedson Bagunok Jr.? Please raise your hands. Outside, 17, 14, 31. Okay, for Mom Melanie Serra. Two. Outside, one, three. Three, Mom? Mom Vicky. Hermosora. Outside, wala. Pila, ma'am? 18. So, congratulations to Sir Wedson Bagunok Jr. for being our business manager. Okay, the position of auditor is now open for nomination. Come on, please nominate her. Okay, Mom Vicky is nominated. Some more nominations, sir. Wala na da iban. Ano ni nag nagotom nagikita? Alas dosi na eh. Manyaga kita. Wala na? Okay, wala kay Tinmahi mo, kay move na. Okay. So, Ma'am Vicky is our auditor. The position of PRO is now open. May isa? I have the honor to nominate Ma'am Joanne Moscoso. Okay, Ma'am Joanne Moscoso is nominated. Some more nominations. Uh oh. Some more nominations. Basi, may gusto da nominate outside. Please come. Porque ikta na bala si sir. Oh, sir? Kapisan kita imo. Wala na da. Is there any objections? No? Okay. Let's uh, uh, let's call on Ma'am Joanne. Good morning, everyone. Just want to have my attendance. Ma'am, present. <laughs> I'm Joanne La Chica Muscoso from Aloan Elementary School. Um, you can follow me in my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, ito yan. And in jo Joanne Joanne in my ano, sa page ko. So, but, um, being a PRO, siguro is is a broad or a heavy task man. No? Siyempre, ikaw ang pamansang marites ng bayan. Hindi ba lang? So, I decided. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Let's go to votation. Who is in favor of Mom Florence Luz Igasa? 
Is she around, Gale? Is Ma'am Florence around? Wala. Okay. Who is in favor of Ma'am Florence? Outside? Wala. Okay. Ma'am Joanne. How about Ma'am Joanne? Please raise your hand for Ma'am Joanne. Majority? Okay. Outside pila? Wala. Diri ya. 17, 18. Okay. Our PRO is Mom Joanne. Yes. Moscoso. Congratulations, Mom. Okay. The position of PIO is now open for nominations. Yes, Mom. Mom Roxanne. Aros, Rosan. Rosan. Mom Rosan. Rosan. Kantuha is nominated. Some more nominations. Huh? Maki. Maki. Sir Maki. Huh? Kantuha. Sir, ano kayo ito, sir? Maki Torres. Spelling M A C K I E I E Torres. The R R E. Okay, some more nominations. Wala na. Lanto imo kilid imo seatmate. Basta may gusto ka da i-nominate. Sir? Okay. It has been moved and seconded. The nomination for PIO be closed. Let's go to uh, for the presentation before we go to our votation. Okay. Sir, Ma'am Roxanne Cantuha. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Roxanne Canto Cantuha, a staff of OSDS. Um, I can say anything, but just thank you for nominating. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Sir Maki? Mayong aga sa tanan. At least ko pakilala ka, galingon ko. To raise your right hand, please. Raise your right hand. Tap the shoulder of your seatmate. Sabihin mo sa kanya, ang ganda mo. Raise your left you, hand. Oh, tap uh, your seat with shoulder and sabi mo, huwag kang sinungaling. Public information officer should always tell and release information truthfully. Yeah. Sa halang doon nga din, nga si Dr. Yeah. Martyr sa graduate school, ginahangkat ko subong Dean Martyr, gub-a ini nga building kasi sulod sa tatlo ka adlaw patindugon ko. Mga abyan, amo ina ang mga tinaga sa isa ka politiko nga nagakapako. Ari ako di subong sa inyo nagatindog, nagapang nagapangayo sa inyo nga hamili nga buto. Ah sorry, may bracing ipon ko. Nagahamili nga buto. Nagapangutang sa inyo hindi kwarta kundi buto. Paano ko bayran sa bayran ko ina paagi sa tampad nga pagserbisyo sa inyo. Ako gali si Maki Torres, isa ka drug lord. Hindi kayo nagabalig. Ako veterinary medicine. Si drug lord ako eh, di ba lang? Oh. Legal ya. Oh. So kung kilala nyo mga bulong parte sa ido, sapat, pwede nyo ko i-contact. Kung may mga sinta may mga bana, tanan may mga bana, ka magamba, ka mo anima, wala na nagatindog, may bulong kami na. Ah, amo sina. So, Maki Torres para sa public information officer. 
Pwede ka, sir, ka papili. The future governor, ah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to the votation. Who is in favor of Ma'am Roxanne Cantuha? Ma'am Roxanne. One. Outside. Wala, ma'am. Waay. Two. Two. Okay, for Sir Maki. Sir Maki, tagadilin ka ko, no? Ay, parin, di kita gali. I'm from Tigbawan also, from Namokon. Sir, sa itong nagdaog na nagid man, sa itong mga asawa, ha? May sampol? Okay, congratulations, Sir Maki. Actually, daw, daw may sinundan siya kay si, si Jaime Torres ang oh, naluluk ko na eh. Nang nagpadlagan to bala mayor. Okay, nakuntra kay Garin. Okay, let's go to our representative, to the position of representative for the Doctor of Philosophy. Sino ding Doctor of Philosophy? Ardaman yun, Sir? Okay. <laughs> Ricky, Sir Ricky, Ricky Martin, Ricky Pilar, Martin. Oh, oh, oh. Pilar. Okay, some more nominations. Wala na. Okay, wala na. Close na ah. Um. Sir Ricky Pilar, congratulations, sir. You have something to say. Hey, ikaw naging managdaog. Ikaw nang representative sang Doctor of Philosophy. Oo oh, eh. Thank you so much for nom nominating myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, as a school head, I want my mga, especially mga SSG, if somebody do not know you, let somebody know by letting yourself know them. So that is why I practice that. Thank you so much for the vote. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Okay. Representatives from Doctor of Education is now open. Damo ginadi. Okay, sir. Oh, okay. Ah, no problem. Mingo. Sir Domingo, ano kaya pilido mo? Domingo. Iktag iya ka di kreator restaurant. Ah, sa Saraga. Oo. Okay, some more da. Ay, isya na lang. Okay, ah. Thank you. Oh, sir. You have the floor. Manya, katada yun. No problem. <laughs> Oo, oh, wala problema. Thank you for pushing me to run this uh, position. Uh, I can, uh, I can promise anything, but uh, let us see what we can do about it. Thank you. Thank you. We can do all together. Okay, for the any representative for Doctor of Management. I wow. Thank you so much.
Okay, so good morning. We would like to acknowledge the presence of our Vice Governor, Attorney Gando. Thank you very much for attending. We are now having uh, the election of our Graduate School Student Council. This is the first ever council for the Graduate School. Thank you. Okay, for the Doctor of Management representative, the floor is now open. Spelling, sir. R E. Okay, for the doctor of management, we have Sir Reggie Geliaco. Dinsi, sir. For the Masters of Education, Med, Representative. Please. Am I not nominate? Mam Roxan Kantuha. Some more? Ipilian yung ikonsin ng representatives. Mayar pa? Wala na? Okay, Ma'am Roxanne is the representative for the Master of Education. And for a Master of Education teaching in mathematics. Hindi ako kakilala. Sin o. Any nomination, please? Nominate yourself, ah. Rodolfo Ko. Ang ko, C-O. C-O. Okay. For the Masters of Public Administration, MPA, representatives, please. And representatives for the Master of Public Administration. Wala the MPA. Why? Outside? May I that, ma'am? Why? Why? May I read it? Hindi ka mag-uya-uya, nominate yourself. Sir, sir? Uya-uya. Basta, sir, sir, yung aran mo. Okay, sir. You have something to say? Please come over as a representative of the MPA. Lantoda ni mo spelling. So mayong aga sa tanan, no? So I'm Novi Jun. I'm working with National Housing Authority and I'm a social worker by profession. So buligan to aton nga graduate school. Thank you. Sir? I, 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 Ah, Novi June, Palawigan. Congratulations. 
for the MBA representative from MBA and a representative, yes. Sir Efren Hirano is nominated. May I pa da? Wala na? Close na ah. Okay, Sir Efren, please. Please come. Ngayong hapon sa tanan, ako galing si Efren Serrano Jr. Um, MBA MBA 1. Thank you again sa mga classmates ko na nag-vote pa. Nag-vote sa ako bilang ano, MBA representative. Pag kita ay nagkita. Okay, thank you so much sa tanan ng uh, newly elected officers. Congratulations and God bless us all. Thank you. Okay, so congratulations everyone. We are very happy that you stayed this long for the election of our student council uh, officers for uh, AY 2022-2023. Since this is the first ever election that we have for the student council, the first assignment that we will be giving to the officers will be to come up with the constitution and bylaws. Okay, so we would like now to call on our officers to please come over for you to take off into office. And um, we are so glad that today we have our vice governor to take this oath. Okay, so our president is Ma Mary Ann Simora. The vice president is Mom, uh, Sir Justin Dayana. Our secretary is Mom Heidi Flor Aborde. Assistant secretary, Sir Joseph Flecheka. Treasurer, uh, Mom Renette Espoli. Assistant treasurer, Sir Edgar Arroyal. Business manager, Sir Wadson Bagunok. The Auditor, Ma'am Vicky Hermosura, PRO, Ma'am Joanne Moscoso, PIO, Sir Maki Torres. For the representatives in PhD, we have Sir Ricky Pilar. For EDD, we have Sir Domingo Decreto. For Doctor of Management, Sir Reggie Galiaco. MED, Ma'am Roxanne Cantoja. MATM, Sir Rodolfo Ku. MPA, Sir Novi John Kalawigan, and MBA, Sir Efren Serrano. To Lead this all taking, we are presenting to you our Vice Governor, Sir John Edward Gando. He is actually an attorney by profession. And a part-time instructor. At the yeah, and a part-time instructor. Sorry, I forgot, Vice. I've just had my uh, social schools legislation class upstairs when I was here when I was uh, directed by the dean to <laughs> administer this oath. And probably, dean, this is the most honest and peaceful elections I have encountered in my entire life. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name, have been elected as your position. Of the Gimara State University Graduate School Student Council for academic year 2022-2023. Do solemnly swear to fulfill my duties and obligations 
with commitment and sincerity as an officer. I shall promise to follow the rules and regulations of this university. With this, I ask the help of our Almighty God to grant me the grace to strengthen and inspire me to serve my fellow students. So help me, God. Congratulations, uh, newly elected officers. And may the strength and force be with you. Congratulations. Okay, so ma a picture kita with the administering official together with our dean, Sir Early. Again, congratulations sa inyong atanan. We are really hoping that this would be the working officers of the graduate school for the betterment of our services and programs and activities for the grad school. Shall we invite our dean to join? Ready? Bear your sweetest smiles. Take off na lang anay aton mask for the purpose of picture taking only. <laughs> All right, ready? Three. Yeah, hold your paper. Again, congratulations, everyone. And thank you for staying this long in our venue. Vice, uh, thank you so much, Vice. Padala lang namun ang final paper in your office. May jan pa. I wish also to extend my congratulations to our Dean, Dr. Early Martyr. Thank you very much, Dean, for this opportunity. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so again, thank you very much, Vice Sardine. Thank you. Okay, so bahala na si Ma'am Simora to announce on uh, the first meeting that you will have. You can have it virtually or you can have it face-to-face. -face. The Office of the Graduate School is always open for all of you for a meet. Thing, you can use this place probably or if you want to join the GSC, the JSUSR uh, Student Republic Office, it can also be used by you during meetings. So again, thank you very much. Do we have some announcements? You have to stay officers before you go home this afternoon. You have to sign the final paper to be signed also by our administering official. nag na actually si Vice Subong for the final paper. Nga iyan, naging ngalan. So, sign na nyo karon And then, I would like to advise our president to please gather info for the contact numbers and emails of our officials. And probably you can create a group chat. Because from now on, we would like this student council to work for the betterment of the programs and services for the graduate school. You will be our arm to connect to our students, especially that our uh, enrollment is going on. And we would be very glad to have you in our system because we know that when the students are active, we can be fruitful as we can. You know, more heads are better than one, as uh, others would say. So you would be... Um, taking care of the activities of our students. So again, I have to announce your first assignment will be to come up with a constitution and bylaws. Okay. So I think this is all for this morning. Our virtual MC, Sir Jimmy, will have an announcement. So please listen. Thank you, ma'am. So you can probably have your lunch now, no? Then by 2 p.m. we're going to um, resume, no? We're going to have three speakers in a row. Thank you. Enjoy your lunch. So, <laughs> any more issues? Well, na man. All right. Again, no. Thank you very much for coming and see you around in the virtual room as announced at two p.m. in the afternoon. 
Thank you, thank you. By the way, announcement for those who are here. I hope nakasign tanan attendance sheet because your professors might be asking a copy of this. So make sure nga nakasign ka mo attendance. And then, ang mga ginhatagan evaluation forms, please also return that. Online, we also have provided the link for the evaluation. So I know our online participants do the evaluation. Calling anay the attention of our newly elected officers. My final paper, kamo nga sign na na ninyo. Ma'am Simora is our president, ma'am. Ah, may ano na ni siya, may administration.